All right, Evercade fans, let's get a single game cart done. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to another episode of Completion Quest. That's right. That's right. So we are diving into the world of Evercade, into the only single game cart available for the Evercade, and that is Full Void. Now, we played this in just two game sessions, one on one live stream right here on this channel, and then finished it up on card this past Thursday night. And boy, oh boy, was it an actual, honest to goodness, really good time. I'm surprised at how cool it was. We're going to get into that a little bit later in the, the wrap-up section. So if you're sticking around for that at the end of the gameplay, we'll come back and talk a little bit more about this game. But I didn't think that there was going to be such a big drive for me to say, hey, you know what? There is actually space for games that are single game carts for the Evercade. Because the Evercade, of course, you know, like when it came out, there was like 20 games here and 15 games there and 10 games there and all these big collections. And okay, yeah, yeah that's the spirit of Evercade. That's the thing. But with this one, I mean, it kind of changed my perspective a little bit. Like here's, a, here's an indie game. It comes out of nowhere really cinematic it's got a great story you know really fun and ex engaging gameplay but just a meaty experience even though a little short but it, it still it hits all of the right marks and i think it does find a place here on evercade but without any further ado all right i don't want to get this intro too long let's get into full void the complete playthrough and we'll see you guys on the other side Let's go. <clears throat> All right, here we are. We have got the full void menu popping up right here. I'm gonna check out levels real quick. I'm thinking we're okay on levels. Um, let me know in the chat if anything is too loud, too soft, whatever, and we will try to update that as we go. I'm about to hit this button. Boom, let's go. Full Void 2023 platformer for one player. Full Void is a puzzle platformer for one player. As a nameless teenager in a fu futuristic dystopia, you must explore the dark and dangerous world around you to uncover the truth behind the rogue AI that has enslaved humanity. Run and jump to negotiate obstacles. Use your trusty laptop to hack into computer terminals and do your best to stay one step ahead of the dark forces in constant pursuit little history the developer out of the bet cut their teeth on a series of fun mobile games and and modern indie homages to retro classics full void which began development during the covid lockdowns in 2020 as the company's most ambitious project to date featuring over a hundred hand-drawn anim animations for the character alone that's pretty incredible katie says in this game even the cutscenes aren't safe so be ready at a moment's notice to avoid danger all right cool it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, out of the bit, making a whole bunch of other things too, huh? Hmm. I'd love to see what these things might be. But anyway, we're gonna hit this button there, and um, got a fresh, fresh cart, and we're gonna hit play right now. So let's go. It's a full void. Let's do it. Out of the bit presents. That's pretty cool. Full void. All right, let's see. We've got settings, audio, video. Cool. Video. CRV, CRT filter off. All right, it's fine. Controller. All right, action, jump, action. So that's pretty much, that's it. It's pretty basic, which is great. All right, cool. Back. There's achievements here. Oh. Oh, 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 man, I love a game with achievements. Oh, man, that's so cool. There's 11. All right. I believe I can. Oh, you thought you could fly, but you were wrong. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Slice of fright. All right. Okay, okay. 
All right. Very cool. I like the fact that there are achievements. I I should have been talking about stuff like this maybe a little earlier, like when this came out. I had no idea that there were things like this. That This alone has got me very, very intrigued about the future of Evercade. Just putting it out there. All right. Cool. Let's begin. Ooh. Man. Look at the atmosphere. That is awesome. You can hear the heartbeat? That's incredible. Can we control now? Okay, yeah. yeah. Whoa! Did I die? Yeah, apparently I died. I guess I can't wait. I gotta run. See ya. Oof. That's very uh, Prince of Persia y. No? Okay. Go under here. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess you have to hit it at the right time. I like the fact that there's like nothing. There's like no, there's literally nothing. That's crazy. Brian F says, yeah, miss some of the sec, miss some and play through a second time to get all the achievements. That's awesome. Yeah. I would, I mean, I would totally, I'm totally thinking I might, I might, I might do the same thing. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Prince of Persia feels, yeah, man. Very cool. All right. Oh, you got to hit it like right when it does the beep. All right. All right. Let's try it again. There we go. Hey, the thing load up. I don't know what that is, but I was glad I was crawling on the ground. Whoa. What? The... Oh, okay. All right. Got through that. Oh, <laughs> I hope there isn't like a fail counter. I was like, you failed on every single year it was possible to fail. I mean, come on, we got this. There we go. There we go. Can I, can I lower myself down? There we go. There we go. All right. I mean, all of it, the environments, everything. Oh, <laughs> all of it looks really, really cool. What should we go this way? Nothing there. I guess we're going to go this way. Yeah. 
this way. All right. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. We did it. Let's climb over this way. I, th I think we have to push it, right? Yeah. We're going to keep going over these rooftops. I don't know what that guy's doing. But... All right. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I guess we got to keep running. Wow. So, oh, it's like a program. So what am I supposed to do? Should just turn it all around? Oh, <laughs> Hey, I got the... Uh, I believe I can achievement. Well, hey, what's going on? Welcome on in. Lloyd R. Jim, GTC in the house. What's going on? Oh, shoot. I did it again. <laughs> Man. And this is one of those ones where you're like, okay. You just mess around and see what happens. Now that gets you up there. I want to... I guess you can't do that. <laughs> I listened to the podcast this week. Full Void devs are going to be releasing more games. Nice. I'm, I'm down with that. I am down with that for sure. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. All right. All right. Takes us to the next screen. I don't think we have to go the other way, right? Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Man, this game is relentless. It's like, no, you think you thought you thought you had a uh, you thought you had a chance, but no. All right. Run, 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 run. Oh, hey. It's like, I guess. It was, it was one of those, hey, you remember when this was a pizza place that you went to? Now it's not. It's cool, I guess. Can we jump this way? No. Didn't like that. I absolutely love the fact that it lets you try again and again because, man, if there was like a fail like game over screen, I don't know, man. I think it might be out of this already. What's going on, Mr. Shua? Yeah, that does look pretty good, right? This is awesome. For, like... For the the kind of thing that this, I guess they're they're trying to to do here with with the Evercade and, um, you know, having cartridges that have you know full games on them, this is really impressive. Also, GTC in the house. 
All right, can I go? Can I go this way? There we go. Yeah, I can lower myself down. All right, there, there we go. We made it. We made it. go up here I'm gonna move that there's a box that I gotta push a little Omega there it's weird all right so we're gonna move this all the way to the pizza oh wait was I supposed to do that I don't know You're pushing it past my face Let's see what we got. Yeah. So we jump up here. Let me jump up there. All right. And we're good. Oh, we don't like that. See ya, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. What am I supposed to do? All right. Going in the sewers. Hopefully there's not alligators. Am I supposed to go this way? Yeah, I don't think it's going to... I think it's going to say... Yeah. <laughs> Apparently she can't swim. <laughs> Yikes. What do you think about that community ever patcher that sort of upgrades Fitch's... Um, I don't know. I mean, I think the thing is, because we are in a live community uh, for the Evercade, um, I would rather the things that are done for um, the device um, are done by uh, Blaze at this time. You know, it's cool that community stuff is happening and all, um, but to be honest, oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's cool that stuff, that community stuff is happening, um, but, you know, like, it, because of everything that's going on and the fact that we know that in the in the ever in the global evercade community um you know like th things need to be done just so or other people publishers ie publishers will get mad um you know uh look yeah you know, we, we got to make sure that we're we're taking taking good care right um so any of the on unauthorized stuff i'm like i mean if people are going to do what people are going to do like it's, it's it is it is the way, right? You know, you give somebody a piece of electronics that can um, be looked into via any meth any method at all. <coughs> Excuse me, people are going to do it. Uh, I don't begrudge them that. Um, you know, I just hope that you know it doesn't harm the other community. You know, like the collectors, like myself, and the you know, players, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, because I want to make sure that this this device continues to have uh, a future, right? I uh, hope. <laughs> Hope you brought uh, a pizza or the journal speed. <laughs> yes, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Um, this was very enjoyable on the Evercade. Yeah. And and welcome. Welcome, Michael. Um, it is currently enjoyable on my Evercade right now. Um, I wonder if you have to jump. Can you jump? No. I guess it's just like, maybe that's the puzzle. Maybe you have to turn off the water. So... <laughs> Jerome's like bacon. I just, I just had ice cream. Yeah, I wish I could have ice cream. I gave that up um, for uh, for the, the the Lenten season. It's one of those things. All right, so you can't go up that way. Can I jump? Yeah, I can jump up here. Oh, can I jump up here? Can I do that? Oh yeah, you can. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that happening right there. You got some of that going on. What? Oh, oh. Was I? Can I get up there again? Yeah, you can. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> It piques my interest that it can restore bark cards and brick devices. Uh, I'm going to have it saved just in case for now. I'm not using it just yet. Yeah. I mean, so that, that would be the thing, like, you know, uh, you know, even above and beyond community kind of stuff. Right. If, um, if they were able to, you know, on the blaze side of things, but like, Oh, Hey, you know, there is a patcher, you know, we can, we can let people, um, you know, like fix their cards or whatever, but that's that. I think those improvements are actually going to be in the Evercade uh, VS and AXP firmwares. They're going to start um, building that stuff in there. Um, but yeah, kind of cool stuff, right? But that's sometimes, you know, even the community, right? They can contact people like Ryan and all those folks over at, um, at Blaze and go like, hey, I found a cool thing and it'll uh, it'll fix some stuff. This was one place I got stuck in the game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to get stuck everywhere. <laughs> uh, Atari Creeps is the guard. Yeah, man, Chris is awesome. Um, uh he uh he also, in case you guys don't know, uh, just started his campaign uh, for Walk Dead and Alzheimer's. Uh, the link is actually below in the description of this video. Um, so uh, if you wanna you wanna hit off on the campaign that he just uh, he just started, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Loosely collected says Atari Creep says what's up? Oh, was he was he streaming? And and he this is a raid. Oh, that's awesome. That's very cool. That's very cool. Um. <laughs> looks amazingly graphically yes it's pretty cool hit the likes thanks thanks jerome hey what's going on richie schools atari creep yes yeah, Creep said and the man of the the man himself was just live and sent folks to you oh sweet man well thanks thanks for all coming on in we're playing some full void it's completion quest we're trying to get through this puppy Let's see what's going on so definitely appreciate um everyone sending sending people over who like yeah, you crawl through the hole. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Hoo, 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 hoo. I don't see any other things. All right. I mean, that definitely looks like you can't go through. All right. Well, that's the other side of the thing. Whoa. Okay. All right. We're crawling through. No, doggy man. Get out. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, okay. We're doing, we're going through here. Oh, <laughs> and this, this game will get you, man. <laughs> it absolutely will get you. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, cool. All right. So we shut off the water. Oh, oh, okay. So we got to, you got to do it right away. All right, ready? Shut off the water. Go, 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 go. All right, cool. All right, so we, do, do we go through here? Oh, that's water. All right, so we go through here. Maybe there's a puzzle where... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. And it's it was, it was a space and then another one, right? All right, so let's go through here. All right, cool. We did it. All right, going through here. Oh, 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 going through here. There's save states and stuff in this, right? I hope so. Oh, go through. Oh, shoot. It's going to fall. Oh, Whew. oh, Michael has says it auto saves. Ooh, thank you. Yeah. So I guess it, like every puzzle you go through, it just it just remembers where you are. All right, that's good. I like I like that. Uh, all right, there we go. What's that? There's something down there. It definitely seems like a some kind of some kind of thing. Yeah, it's uh, some kind. Of, I'm I'm like blocking it, but there's like some kind of thing. It's like got some freaky thing there. 
Uh, Alan's story says, is that the special edition of Full Void with an art book? Um, I do have it. <clears throat> it's right here. Yep. This is the special edition of Full Void. <clears throat> the cart of the special edition is still in this box, though. <clears throat> I did get a standard edition. I got the bundle. Um, so I'm playing that as well. All right, so I can go up here, right? I got to jump because that's going to fall, right? Can I jump over here? Yes, I can. Can I jump over here? Yes, I can. Then what? Let me go over here. All right. <laughs> Where are the turtles? There's a chapter select from the title screen for every save point. Awesome. Thank you for the more information, Michael. That's very helpful. That's awesome. Rich stopped at the defunct pizza shop. I hooked them up with a pizza. They chilling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That'd be awesome if they like threw in like a, a little little turtle reference. That'd be cool. All right. So what's this? I mean, all right, it's a door. Oh, I love this game. This is awesome. It's like, hey, what's this, Dead? Oh, <laughs> well, it's good times. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, more puzzles. Got it. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> Fantastic game. That's what, yeah, man. Somebody flushed. Oh, man. All right, so let's go in here. More puzzly goodness, right? Okay, let me get this. Oh, uh, okay. See, so now I think we shut the water off. So now we can go back over here. All right, we got the little, got the little cue. I, I like that. I like that little little thing going back and forth. <laughs> What's behind door number two? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Fun times. All right, so we're not going to get crushed by the door this time. See? No more water. Okay. Sorry, I had taco. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. We didn't have any more context clues. So I'm imagining what what's this one? Okay. So we turn this one off. Oh, well that that didn't do it. Oh, okay. Maybe that did do it. All right. Back in a bit. I'm at work. You gotta go. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, no worries. Gotta get the kids fed. Catch you after. If not, yeah. Oh yeah. And thanks, man. Thanks for the raid. That's always awesome. Also, everyone, hit that link down below. It's always in the description, man. Gotta hook up, hook up my buddy Chris on his quest for the walk this year. We gotta be doing big things, man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man, that's just unfair. Oof. What? That thing is going to be what? Okay. All right. Turn this one off. Oh. So, wait. So, how do I do this? Come on, go, go, go. No. GTC joining the walk. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always been the thing where I would always love to do a walk with Chris. And who knows? Maybe we can make it happen this year. Uh, usually I do my own uh, down here in the, in the jurors area. 
Um, but uh, but yeah, man, if we if we can make it happen, I would love to make it happen. Um, oh man, so what do you th- like? So I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do because can I jump past it? I wonder if I can just do two. No, you hit the you hit the water and you go straight down. Huh. But by the time that happens, that one's done. And then you, that one's going back off. So huh. Interesting. This is Full Void is the name of the game. Full Void. We're playing on the Evercade. This one. It's pretty cool. It's um <clears throat> it's a action puzzle platformer. So alright, so what if I did um yeah, I still wanna do it. What if I did this? I did this one? Then this one. Then this one. And then did the run and jump. Oh, I did it. Oh, no. What's this? All right. I got to go in here. What's this? <laughs> got him. Can I go through here? Nope. Nope. I didn't want to go through there. All right. Wait, can we go back through here? No. There's nothing else in here. All right. It is a pretty cool concept, right? And that was a tricky spot. Um, what program do you use to get the text responses? Oh, the um, to to like show the things on the screen. You mean? Um, we're using Streamyard uh, for that. Uh, thanks so much for doing the Evercade streamcast with the Ever Dudes. Happy to Evercade gives them love. Yeah, man, anytime. I love the Evercade. And I think it's a great system. Um, love the folks behind it. It's a it's it's been a it's been a great ride, um, being a fan and a collector and all that. Ooh, what's this? Uh, okay. So, how do I? What does that mean? All right. So I can program it and make it just go over, go crazy. Oh, okay. Well, then that's kind of what I wanted to do, I guess. All right, there we go. Oh. All right. I make that one walk right into the water, right? I think that's one of those, right? Yeah. yeah. Just walk yourself into the water. Go ahead. Walkie, walkie, walkie. Oh, he can't go under. Oh, uh, that didn't. That didn't work out. Can I make him go the other way? Oh, I wonder if I can make him turn the thing. So. No. Oh, that just makes him. Oh, whoops. One, two, three. Oh, it's three. It's three. 
I need to do three. Reminds me of King's Quest. Yeah. McGowan error games. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You fight like a dairy farmer. <laughs> oh, awesome. Papa Pete. Renewing up for another nine months. Thanks so much for that. GTC in the house. Thanks so much, Papa Pete. Good to see you too. Yeah, I mean, it's this game's awesome, right? All right, what we got here? So we're gonna move, we're gonna move. So we did three, and then we're gonna do one of these, and then see what happens, right? Whoops. There we go. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, it's always good to hang out. All right, so we made him do the thing. So that was fine. These moves are the moves are grid based. Use the grid to determine how far to move. Yep, yep. Yeah, good stuff. All right, so I guess I can do this one, right? And then then it'll turn should turn the water off. Yeah. And then it was okay to just leave him be, I guess. And then, do I use him? <clears throat> I guess I use that guy to go and open the grate, maybe? And then I gotta go in the grate? So one. Oh, the grit. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Now I understand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a punch. And then try it. <clears throat> Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. And then it'll just go back. Do a little thing. And in the meantime, I can get down there and do that. Those spiders, yeah. <laughs> Had to stop in for a minute before crashing. Yeah, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for being here, coming on in, the support, all that stuff. All right. Let me go in through here. Nice. We can go on through there. All right. Um, I guess we can jump this way. Can I get around it? No. Oops. There we go. There we go. And then we go up through here. Oh. All right. So this guy's just chilling. Oh. Yeah, man. We definitely got to. We definitely got to hang, man. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll definitely be reaching out. But yeah, good to see you, man. Robots are your friend. <laughs> So what I got to do is I got to wait for him to go all the way across, right? <clears throat> yeah. Got him. There we go. There we go. Let me go on in here. What's this? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I guess that was an achievement. That's what it was. All right. Out for a leisurely stroll. It's all those Omega symbols. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> That's so crazy. All right. So I guess we got to go through here, right? 
We could walk past. Yeah, something tells me we gotta go in here though. Maybe not. All of these things. Yeah, I love the flashbacks. Yeah, another Chivo. That's cool. It's cool. It's, man. Oh. Well, it's good that everyone was kind of happy. Got it. <clears throat> Get in here. Okay. What is that? Looks like a vent you can go through, but oh, I wonder if it's this. Okay. Yeah, the sound is. It's like the whole soundtrack is like. It's cool. It's like eerie and all sorts of fun stuff. Oh. Huh. Where am I supposed to go? I can go through here. Am I supposed to push this to the other side, maybe? No. I wish there was something down here. I mean, clearly you got to get up there and hit the button, right? And you can't interact with this thing. Because it's off. Can't go through here. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? Maybe I missed something in the other room? Should I, or should I go like this? Yeah, maybe I should push it, push it through like that, and then go through here. 
because I need to use this other thing over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. What about this? I did it. Climb over this thing. Climb in here. All this is on now. Got my little buddy. Little buddy can go. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I wonder if it's if I gotta move him over one, two, and then do that thing, and then do that thing. I don't know. Let's see what that does. Okay. One. I went over one too many. That's interesting. Hmm. Have you played Another World on, Ev on Evercade Delphine Collection 1? I have played Flashback, but not on the Evercade Collection. I played it on Sega CD. Um, so that's weird, though. Should I... Should it be backwards? Should I be hitting... This and then that. Whoops. This and then that. Uh, this. Ah. That. Let's try that one. No. Hmm. Played in a, another world. It's slightly a bit from the other ports, but I still enjoy it. Sweet. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. Does the line only shoot up? If you're on top of the fish, uh, fish tank, maybe it shoots across. Mm. That's true. But I guess I'd have to program him to like go all the way over there. Because I have to be down here in order to do the programming. Worth a shot, though, I guess. I mean, but maybe it is. Well, let's send him on the other side. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then try it. Send him all the way over there. I wonder if I'm supposed to get in his way. Let's, 
Let's do the other way. doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use the dude to shoot the thing and then he's supposed to grab the thing. Maybe it's... Uh, whoops. Extend the first line, extend the line first, and then move to the left? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Let's try. All right, so throw the line. Throw the line. And then move first. And then... Throw the line can do it that way. Try it both ways. Oh. So we got him up there. Now we know what to do. Now he's gonna hit the button. Got it. <clears throat> Alright, little dude. Then you're gonna just pound the button. All right, so we can't move. So we can't move. All right, so we go back. Go back to the programming. So I had to move one more space over than he needs to. So we need to do this and then jam on the button. There we go. Oh, so maybe it's, so maybe he doesn't need to move at all. So just start jamming on the button. Jam on the button. Ah, oh, all right. So this way. Up. Oh, no, gotta go that way. Then we go that way. Then we go this way. Get on over there. There we go. Hit, that. Hit the button. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want from you. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I gotta move. I gotta do it while he's doing it. All right. Got it. Ready? Run it. Go through. See you, buddy. Awesome. We did it. Whew. Wait. Oh, I don't like that. Doesn't look like there's another... Oh, there we go. Hmm. 
This is creepy. So there's the buddy again. So grab up, grab up, move over twice, go down, hit the button. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Almost Atari creepy. Yes, that's true. All right. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious me. What a silly, silly thing. I should be able to go through again, though. And all this should be still still ready to rock. All right, so it's this. Is it three? There you go. All right. Okay, so now we hit this. Then we lower ourselves down. Then we do this. Then we do this. All right. And then you're going to go one, one, two, three, four, pull. And then I'm going to go over here because the door is going to open. Yeah. There we go. We're good. Two, three, four, five. Pull. Right. Didn't want to didn't want to run across that correct class. I was had a bad feeling about it. Oh shoot. I guess it's this. You go up here. Okay, now I'm up here. Shoot. Oh, <laughs> uh, no worries. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks for having uh coming in and saying hi. Yeah, it's it's great fun. Uh, I definitely encourage um, giving this one a whirl. There's no question. All right, so let's go over here. All right, so we got to run and jump. 
There we go. Yeah, he didn't like it. That's okay. Oh no. Okay. Apparently they didn't like that. Is there another way over here? Oh, what the? Don't go that way. Wow. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> now what? Brain thingy? Okay, all the omegas. All oh, right. Oh, uh oh. That's not great. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Now what? Run. Oh, man, this is intense. instead go 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 back down run oh shoot not open okay so I got a buddy one go go three four hand go It's going, it's going. Ah. Go, 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 go. Did 
That's not cool. Duck. Get up, get up, get up. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Can it? It's not going to grab me, is it? Does it grab you? Oh, all right, we're good. I'm running, I'm running. He's back. Get out of there, get out of there. I guess we're going this way. Run, 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 run. Ah! What the? Wait, what did I do? All right. I guess I'm not supposed to do that. Go this way. No, clearly that's not what. What? I don't. What am I supposed to do? Go this way. Huh. All right. Am I supposed to go back on the train? Another FMV where you have to... Oh, got it. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Something tells me you're not supposed to make up with the lamp monster. <laughs> oh, there it is. Whew. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. See, those those are those things. It it yeah, you're right. It isn't obvious, but it's I I get it now. And those are that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh man. This is good stuff. Wait, do I have to can I go that way? Oh, something tells me I need my buddy. Or maybe I can't go here yet. Maybe I can't go to that part yet. What's going on, Ian? Welcome on in. Can't jump that yet. Definitely can't go that way. Ooh, the Omega. All right. Well, clearly can't go through there. That is not something that you would probably be able to survive. Okay. So now I'm going back this way. Is this only on the Evercade? Actually, I don't believe so. I think it's actually on all systems. Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, uh, Switch, uh, and of course the Evercade. Yeah. Didn't like that. All right. So I don't get it. Maybe there's something I missed on the other screen. Maybe I have to go back here. Nope, nothing really. And I locked the face monster out of that. So clearly I'm missing something. Because I, I can't interact with anything over there. I wish there was a box. Uh, yeah, that would be cool if this was on VCS. I mean, I would I wouldn't mind it, a port over there. I mean, it's on everything else. Clearly, the VCS would be able to run this.
Oh, no. No, there's nothing I can do in that cutscene. Yeah. I mean, clearly, I mean, I have to go over here and shut this stuff off, but... Um... I don't know how to get through that. Can I interact with this? I can try to jump over it. Oh, well. Well, there you go. Okay, so can I get him to go one, two, three four and whoops oh never mind i see what i need to do rope one no oh, get up there one two three four down do the button go So that just shuts off that. And then we got to continue on. Do, do, do. Contra. I wanted to crouch. Can I crouch? Oh, there we go. Oh, and then I need the dude to go under there and pull the thing so I can go on the thing. Got it. Now I understand. Okay. Okay, buddy. One, one, two, pull the thing. And then I'm on here. Okay, I go up this way. I jump across. Oh, shoot. I guess I'm not going back that way. <laughs> See, this is one of the reasons why I love the idea of the Evercade and the Atari VCS. Limited libraries makes great game standard. Yes. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, no, it's like the Atari VCS and the Evercade all about discovery. And I'm all, all, you know, it's, it's 100% awesome that both these ecosystems exist and have unique games on them because it allows, it, it allows indie devs to shine. Um, and then, you know, like I wouldn't be having such a great time with a game like this if it wasn't for these systems, because I would just be playing, on the other stuff that I always play on, you know, um, I'd be playing on Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, right? There we go. Go, 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 go. I go up here. I go across here. Do, 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 do. I let myself down. I let myself down. I pull this gun. Sweet. I'm going to go back over here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> now Avatar would buy out Blaze. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the. Wade loves buying stuff. That's that's for sure. I mean, I don't know if they would sell though. I think the, I think the guys, I think the Blaze guys love it too much. Ah, uh, esteemed myself. Uh, do I have to do the whole thing again? Yeah, I do. That's a bummer. I'm 
still working out running meme on my vcs making it like a core of a homemade oh uh, yeah that'd be kind of cool yeah i mean the power on that thing it's enough you can definitely do you know meme and all sorts of different emulation um buddy of mine um by the name of mike um he did a couple um of videos on his channel uh it's, he's the he runs a uh, next uh, original next level gaming um he did a couple videos on his channel where he did some um emulation stuff with the Atari VCS um and got a whole bunch of stuff running so it was pretty it was pretty good there we go ah I did it again ah it's hard to see around my uh my things here there we go I had something directly in on the side of my monitor. I should take it away. It's hard to see that. If there's one ever card I know won't happen, it's the Atari Games arcade ports from the mid to late '80s: Road Dip, Foot Blasters, Hard Drive, and Glax, Hydra Vindicator, Stun Runner, and so on. Oh man, that's such a bummer. I would totally love to see that. I would absolutely love to see all those. Is it like a licensing thing, or like what's what's the why would you um why would you say that it's definitely not gonna happen? Or is it just an Atari thing? They just don't want to do it. Cause I would love I mean I for one would love to see that, especially hard driving. Oh my buddy's channel, uh the original next level gaming. He's on uh YouTube and Rumble. He's he's now um only on Rumble streaming. But um, his, the rest of the channel still has stuff on the uh, YouTube side. Um, uh, do you have Blaze Hyper Mega Tech Super Pocket that takes it? Yes, I do. I have. If you see in the bottom right, I'm in the I'm in the box. I've got the Taito Special Edition. Yeah, I've got the Capcom one too, but I gave that one to my uh, my uh, young my older son. There we go. I think they're cool. I like the I like the super pockets. Yeah, probably a tiny thing. Yeah, I'd love to see Stun Runner as an actual arcade machine. That would be sweet. All right, so it's that's Zappy. So what am I supposed to do? There's no buttons or anything. Go this way? No. Well, I don't get it. Yep, that's <laughs> that is the thing. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm probably supposed to crawl under it, right? Whoops. That's interesting. Can I let myself down? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. The Capcom uh, games on the EXP are a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I like those, too. I have Stun Runner on our links. It's a little crude looking, but still fun. Sweet. I don't think I've ever played that one. All right, so I let myself down this way. Ah. <laughs> All right, so you gotta let yourself down. You gotta let yourself down. See, the weird thing is, once it once it gets that tight, will it let me? So I can't get over there. I have to move it twice in order to get around. 
to move it again, right? I wonder if I can just, once I get over here, I wonder if I could just make that jump. Oh. Yeah, I could just make the jump. Okay. Okay, so I got a program to do. Okay, go over one and hit the button, but then I basically got to run. Okay, go over one, hit the button, go. I got to jump. I got to jump. Is that gonna jump across here? Oh no! <laughs> what else we got here? As far as Atari Arcade, I'd love to see the original Star Wars vector graphics. Yeah, that would be really cool, for sure. Stun Wonder was great on the Atari Lynx. Used Mode 7 scaling in the of polygons, but it works very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish I had a Lynx. Passed a couple of times. Thought they were too high priced. Now they're even worse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're hard to find, for sure. But, um, I mean, thank goodness for the Lynx collections, though, on the on the Evercade, because that's the only way I'm, I'm experiencing those. I have everything to play the multiplayer Atari Lynx games, but my units can use a little TLC. Wouldn't it be nice to have the HDMI? Yeah, that would be awesome, right? That'd be very cool. That robot noise reminds me of a robot I've heard in sci-fi somehow somewhere. I'm imagining too. I I can't I can't place it either, but yeah, I think you're right. I think it does kind of like it's familiar. Okay, that has nothing to do with the game. When you say team RTFC, what is that? Been sub for a while still. <laughs> well, so Team RTFC is our um, board and card game arm of Bacon Ice Cream Productions. So whenever we do stuff like uh, Lorcana, TC, um, uh, uh, SRG Super Show, uh, Transformers TCG, uh, and, and talk about that kind of stuff, that's more like Team RTFC. Um, and what Team RTFC stands for is, uh, I mean, it's a little, little not great. I guess, but it's um it's team read the freaking card. <laughs> That's what it stands for. Um but uh but yeah it's my uh my my brother in law's group. Um he's been playing you know like tons and tons. Um but uh but yeah it's pretty cool. All right. There we go, we got that. What's this? I don't know why we'd want to turn that on. Oh, now I can't turn it off. Oh, fantastic. 
Okay, we can jump over. Okay. We're good. My only grade with Atari Lynx Evercade is a lack of multiplayer support. Yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Second cart. Yeah. I like I like the second cart too. I don't have the Evercade, so still no Lynx action. Yeah, that's a bummer. Although, I mean, Evercade's pretty cheap to get into. Um, Analog Pocket has a Lynx adapter for it. Um, sure, it plays the cards nicely, and Imagine looks great. Oh, yeah, that could be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> See ya. Oh, I got steamed. Oh, really? I got to do the whole section again? That's a bummer. Yeah, no analog pocket. Yeah, I don't have one of those. Was a tad pricey. For me, but I might get one later on down the line. Whew. Especially if I if I really go for the the uh, the whole game gear acts aspect. Um, really, really love uh, some cool way to play some game gear stuff. All right. Oh, sh <laughs> all right. So that's clearly a thing. Pull, pull, pull. Ah, all right. So I guess we have to do not that, but when it goes like that. Now we go. No. Yeah, I I really love the game year as well. But I didn't realize how cool it was until um Joker. Oh man. I didn't realize how cool it was until um until much later. I wonder if I could just jump just jump it. Ah, oh. please don't make me do all three jumps. Oh, that's that's harsh. That's harsh. Oh, that is even harsher. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Are the original Evercade handheld compatible with the new Evercade cartridge? Yes. Um, as long as you have the original handheld up to the max update, uh, just about every collection, including the ones that just got announced, they're all compatible with the old, uh, the OG handheld. Sizable waffle can, so I don't know. Sadly, no, yeah, 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 me, me neither, right? <laughs> Grew up with Link's second favorite after the Intelligence. Nice, man, very cool. All right, so we're gonna do these jumps again. All right, so then I guess we just run and jump, right? Because you're going to have to hit that bar. There we go. All right. All right, so you're going to go 
make it that way, then get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe, and then down and at the button. I might be one off. Six. Hang it down. Grab the button. Oh, it's one off. All right. Fine. Oh, wait. <laughs> I needed space to lower it down and then put the button. There we go. That was a silly. That was a silly for me. Ooh. We're going. We're going late. All right. Let's see if we can get to whatever the next natural stopping point is. And then we're going to call it. All right. So that's that. So then I guess we can jump from here. And then make this jump. Yeah, you got angry. That's fine. Um. All right, we're good. We're right there. Wow, that was luck. That was just straight luck right there. All right. Go up. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Hit the button. Goodbye. Okay. That allows me to go down here. Oh, really? It hit my foot. Come on, man. Oops. All right. We're doing it. No. Do I have to do? I have to do the whole segment again. All right. So I think we've reached the the natural stopping point. Um, it's probably going to be another couple minutes to just get the next one anyway. So we're going to wrap this one up and take it to next time. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you're here. Yeah, we're like electricity down there kills. Oh, yeah, and you got your buddy. Okay, yes. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Buddy is okay. Um, down, down this. Yeah. So, I did this part a couple times and kept dying because the uh, I either got hit by this the the foot the, you know, the spider thing or um, you know, the, the thing was hitting my foot. Should be able to, can you duck? Yeah, we can duck, we can duck down. Yeah. But I can't, oh, there we go. There we go. Got it. Just get Yeah, my now bones. you get to time the steam. It's Contra. Uh... <laughs> right. 
Oh, speaking of Contra, um, that was the third game that Arcus ran in the Arcathlon. Oh, nice. Um, and the Arcathlon 2. And, um, yeah, he, he got through that, um, was it 12 minutes? 11 minutes? 11 minutes. No you code. I, God. I just, I just, I need, I just need to beat that without using the Konami code. I really do for my own, my own personal goal. Yep. Congrats. There you go. And then you go up. Yeah. Like it's one of those things where I don't want to, I don't want to say the word like perfect necessarily try maybe but like overall like conjures a great game like everything from like the con the controls the music and the nostalgia factor oh yeah i, I remember this puzzle very well mm -hmm. but contra it's one of those games like, for me i kind of feel like it's one of those games like something maybe like mike tyson punch out mario but like i could just pick up and play it and just have a you know and just and just, and just have a great time um but yeah, you just have to like you just have to like get into the zone. I think I forget uh, I was telling like I was playing that the other day on my PS4. Yeah, living room. I forget we're just all kind of hanging out, and then I got to the like the frost level, and I think maybe I'd only died once. I still had spread. It was like one of the best games I played in a long time. Like it's funny, I can, like hear summoning Salt's voice, like and there was it on the best game of his life. But <laughs> you know, like, what he, but and then you know, I, like I because I, I just like minimized it and paused, went to eat dinner, come back, watch shows, whatever. And then, like, the next day, I went back, and then, like, I just, like, blew through all my lives. and Because, like, I just wasn't in the zone anymore. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, I will tell you, like, all of this. Don't overthink this. Okay, actually, yeah, you're farther. Okay. Yeah, you're farther. If I were down. Yeah. You might be, like, you might be halfway. Oh, uh, hey, Lord JRM is too, in the house. Too far, too far. But um, this one, actually, I had to look up. Like, I, I way overthought this one. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, the puzzle? Yes. Yeah. I was trying to make it like way too like way too complicated. So that that's the only hint I give you. Just don't overthink it. It's it's stupidly easy once you see you're like, oh. All right. But um oh, so while well, we're kind of talking about this, because calling on retro gamers, I would kind of feel like we'd, you know, weird if we didn't say anything about you know the what's you know in the news with the Nintendo. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Yuzu and Citra and all that, and I've wa so I've watched a few people. Um, so what's like, this? What's the Citra thing? Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so that so Citra that was the that was the 3D simulator. Oh, okay, Got yeah, it. yeah. But, and but that, they, and they went was, after both. Well, no, they they went after you, but we'll, we'll get that was like kind of like a casualty of war to kind of talk kind of talk about. Uh, but I was gonna say, like, I watched like, um, like Mad, like Mad Little Pixel, Re Retro Game Corpse, you know, and a few other like YouTubers' opinions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but here, so here were the, so here were the kind of the, here's the the biggest issue, right? Is that like Nintendo, so, like normal, like they wouldn't have normally cared about the 3DS, like something that they're not actively selling or making money on, right? Because like right now, if you have a 3DS, you can't like you can't buy games directly from Nintendo, physical or digital. A store is shut down. If you're going to your local retro store, but Nintendo's not getting money, so it's like whether you like you're buying like actual games from a retro store, or let's say you're hacking a 3D emulator, Nintendo isn't getting any money, and they like you know they don't want that. They don't you know they, right. they don't they don't want to take people's money. They shut down the store. So that like Citra, the only thing that put that attention is I think when um they or maybe I'm thinking the other emulator, like the Wii U emulator that they tried to integrate with Steam. But anyway, yes, Citra was like 3D uh, 3DS and DS. Um, but so here, so here's kind of the mistakes. Well, there was actually there was, so there's a few that with users that they did. For one, it's it's like they went after like a current gen system, right? Because like I think we'd agree like the Switch really isn't a retro, and that's kind of like when you trade off accessibility for piracy. You know what I mean? It's like hey, Nintendo's make selling this; they're making money off of it. So that's kind of the first problem. The second biggest problem that Yuzu did was that it wasn't just something that they that they distributed like it wasn't just like hey here it is free open source you all can download it right okay it, if they if they it, so there was a free version of it but they also had a paywall and this and this is where and oh here's the other thing too the other thing is the fact that they were the actual like a registered llc like a, a, a us-based company you know what i mean oh 
So like Nintendo could go. It's not like they weren't like out. You know, it's like they weren't out there like in Brazil or the Netherlands. You know, some other. I don't know some other country where they would have been harder. So that was kind of they made it really easy for like for Nintendo's lawyers to go after them. So that was kind of they were you know easy access to them, um, and they had a paywall. So I, this I think if this was just open source and they weren't making any money off of it, mm-hmm. then I don't think Nintendo would have a case. Got um, it. But the other but he but and, and I'll get to how they did that in a second. But the other things that angered Nintendo was the fact that. Uh, people like would they say like Breath of the Wild have been played like a million times before the the game was officially out? Mm-hmm. So that so that that got like a lot you know that got like a lot of attention. Um, yeah, the fact that they're spreading you know like all these games that like just come out and then now people you know it was it was really encouraging privacy even, uh, piracy even though you had to have like you know encrypted keys and all that and stuff. You know, and that's like and that's why with the uh, retro game corp that's why he he was like saying in his videos he's like that's he's like. Hey, I would just like I would show off like retro handhelds, show off the capabilities, show off you know kind of like assuming that you if you dumped your own ROMs, but he, you know, but he would never like show any how to do that. Like, hey, if you just wanted to buy this for the benchmarks, hey, Ian Hobbies, you know. Hey, so I that was, it, so, but but he did bring up a good point because he was saying that I think like a lot of YouTubers did bring you know I think did bring it to the, the, the attention of the public. Hey, you can download the simulator, you can play Switch games for free. So there definitely were people that were pirating it. There are also people that, let's say, they did have legit games and maybe they wanted to put it on a Steam Deck and be able to have like better resolution and you know have you know, but maybe they wanted to play it like not um, you know maybe like with some like the, the Switch was like inferior, like you could play it in dock mode and not just on the on the on the on the Steam Deck but on the Odin or whatever. So, but here's the biggest. But so in addition to all those things that is mentioned, here's the biggest mistake: their paywall is that they were getting like thirty to fifty thousand dollars a month through their Patreon. Wow. And because what you would like, if you were to sign up, you, if you, if you were to sign up for that, like, I think at least at the $5 level, then you'd get their latest builds. Otherwise you'd have to wait like a couple of weeks. So let's say like breath of the wild comes out. They have like, if you were to join their Patreon, then they have like the, the release of it, you know, the, the beta release where you could like automatically play it and you didn't have to wait. And so it's like here, Nintendo sees somebody that they're getting like, you know, they're getting like 30 to $50,000 a month. It's encouraging piracy. They're able to play all these games. You know what I mean? So I, I don't blame I don't blame Nintendo for going after. I really, you know, I really don't. Mm-hmm. Um, but they did settle out of court for like two and a half million dollars, and they had to like hand over the source code, hand over like the domain, Discord, and shut all that down. And then they had to like write an apology that you could say their lawyer like told them to write, which basically they said our intention was never piracy, and we're sorry, you know. But so here, so here's the pro- here's the reason why Citra, like I say, was, was a casualty of war. Because the lead developer on Yuzu Bunne, I think if I'm pronouncing his name right, he was also like, I don't know if the lead developer, but he was also developer of Citra. Got it. And because and because that was his other project that he worked on, I'm guessing that Nintendo like saw an opportunity and they're like, hey, not only do you have to shut down Yuzu, but you have to shut down all the projects. They kind of used it as an excuse because that what you know that wasn't behind any any type of paywall or, or anything. Um so yeah, that's why. So that you know, that was kind of a, a casualty of war. What I think that this will do, though, I think like um, on the like on the retro market, I think this will will probably make the cost of like actual like DSs that it, or 3DSs. It might make them, you know, might make the cost of those go up because it was kind of like the preferred way, anyways, to play emulation of those games because with the touch, screen, you know, with the dual screens and all that. Right. Um, but you know, there were other, other other kind of ways around it, but you know. But that's really the only other, way, like, you know, to like the soft mod everything. Who else? I, I think that this also hurts. Um, and what I like that um, um, retro games, but like, well, Mad Little Pixels opinions were funny, but you know, they, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, I, I, I love those entertaining, but you know, but um, I liked how it's like Retro Game Corp's a little more analytical. Like, well, he put out like a 22 minute video, but he, but he was saying like, um, where I think it has the biggest effect is. He was saying on his channel, people were commenting saying, "Oh, well, I was going to buy like an Odin two mainly because I wanted it to like emulate like Switch games and 3DS games, and now I don't think I'm going to get that anymore." So that kind of maybe sucks a little bit for you know for people who are going to who are going to buy those systems to emulate all that. Um, mm-hmm. But where I think I do agree, but with both of those guys, and it's I, 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 <laughs> that little pixel makes it, which I get. So you have to you, you have to cover your butt. But no, I agree with what he said. Is that like he's like saying, "Hey, maybe like you know." Five or whatever years from now, like basically said, like when, like when they when they stop selling Switch games and it kind of becomes like 3DS, he's like, sure, I may emulate it, and that's where, like, as much as like, you know, let's say we maybe don't like Nintendo or other stuff, like I do kind of like 
you shouldn't be emulate like you know current gen stuff like that that you can still buy you know that is right <laughs> that is kind of bad because then it sends a message to developers like well why should we develop for your system you know other than kind of like the money fact the money factor part that that had to protect but their but their whole biggest argument was hey use you made it to get like you know with the decryption keys you could basically like play play anything and then i think everything else is icing on the cake being able to like breath of the wild and all the others you know like i think like like nintendo isn't put it this way Nint like financially nintendo isn't hurting because of this it's just kind of more that just you know it's just kind of more like to send a message so it doesn't get out of control like hey don't like you know don't profit off of <laughs> the, the, but the only thing though that i don't like because like you know nintendo's nintendo is i think it's in their license agreement like that like even if you like legitimately like own a switch own the game then nintendo doesn't want you playing it like the way that you enjoy it they only want you to play switch games on switch hardware and i get that but it's kind of a shame right it's like if you're, right. if, you're if you're if you're paying the money like who cares <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i i can i mean i suppose i can see both sides of the arguments but yeah yeah at the same time it's like you know, like the, the the switch thing. Okay, I get I get you. I get you there. You know, but you know them going all out and taking out everything, um, all around it. Okay, yeah, that's a little it's a little excessive. Yeah, but I mean, and I think at the same time, say, I yeah. mean, I guess the, it's still their intellectual property, so they can do whatever they want with it. Exactly. Yeah, I, you know, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. As much yeah. as it's, but no, it's funny because that's what I come on. So, like, oh, I got your citrus is ridiculous. I'm like, no, I'm like, I get I me. Mean, listen, they, they took an opportunity because I'm, I'm thinking that, like, usually the low, the low lore that they had there, you know, they're probably like, do you really want to go up against Nintendo? Like, guys, you really don't. Because probably what I'm assuming is that, like, the money that they made, they were probably able to pay Nintendo off and still keep some money. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I, you know, total speculation, but I'm guessing behind closed doors, Nintendo was like, hey, you know, you did, you know, you know, while you did, you know, this our intellectual property, you did put in some effort and, you know, you did, you know, did spend time to kind of create something. We're shutting it down. We'll, we'll let you keep some money, but you're going to give us the majority of the money that you've been making off this Patreon. I don't know. Right. That's what I'm thinking. And that they, you know, I'm thinking they may be able to keep a little bit of money, pay their lawyer, wash their hands free and give everything up, not do any jail time. Not, have, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Probably not have to like. Have their, hopefully not not have to have like financially be ruined. That's what I'm thinking. They kind of came to an agreement where Nintendo's like, okay, we're gonna hit you financially where it hurt, but you know, you guys, are... <laughs> and, yeah, it, it makes sense because it's one of those things where if you were going to take it to court, like, like I think that if they didn't have, if they weren't making any money off of it, and it was just like purely like you know, just, you know, what well, was open source? There wasn't that paywall. Then I think they could make the argument like Nintendo, we're not making any money off of it. We're not, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, yes. Um, you have to. De yes, you have to decrypt. You know, there's a technology that that decrypts the game, so people have to like provide their own keys for their own Switch. We're not making any money. Then I, I think at that point, hey, Mr. Shua, hey, what's going on, guys? Um, Big time GTC in the house. Oh, sorry, Ian didn't mean to ignore. I'm going to start full void. I've been been an evercated funk, dude. That's what, no, yeah, I hear you. That happens to. Be, that's why I stream. Um, that happens to me all the time, dude. Full, full void. Yeah. So, yeah, um. Well, well, we will we will get back to the game that you see on the on the on the, on the screen here, um, but yeah, definitely. So actually, I would say side note: what, what's been getting me a little bit out of the funk is to also sometimes just play like a total chill game, like Stardew Valley. I love that playing that on my Steam Deck because that's just like you go because you have like something like that, like you have different objectives. I'm like, okay, I need to chop wood to craft this thing, or I need to get there, and then I can build up my farm. Like, there's a lot to do in that game, and. The kiddo can show me where she's at and kind of give me tips. And it's crazy because in the beginning I was like helping her out. Now the roles have reversed like seven years later. Uh, but yeah, that's what, that's what you got to do. Um, but yeah, dude, that's why I get so excited about new carts and all that because like that way, like um, for me, it's it's not necessarily just like an Evercade funk. It can just be like a gaming funk. Like I have like I have nothing to play. But I go over to my Steam library. You've got four hundred games. <laughs> uh, Phantom asks you uh, how you've been doing, Rich. Have you got your mojo back? Um, so as far as the mojo goes, I've been, I've been working on some stuff and it's been going pretty well. I am nowhere near a hundred percent, but I am way more functional than I've been in probably two weeks. So thanks for asking. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's been, it's been pretty crazy. 
So sweet. Huh. I could have sworn that that was supposed to work. Yeah, I was going to say, everybody in here, I'm, I'm going to pick on Ian. Hey, Ian, everybody but you are channel members on both of our channels. No. no. <laughs> just, you don't have to, dude. No, we, 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 we love you, Ian. I just, I, I just wanted to tease him. I was noticing a pattern. So <laughs> yeah, you, go you know, it'd be there. like if we were all just like hanging you out, like playing games at the bar. I'd, 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 be, I'd be busting his balls. I'm sure. oh. I, I expect, if, if he's still here, I expect a comment. He'll say it right back. Um, Wait a minute. How but um, oh, to... so so kind oh. Of the point... oh, I get it. You do. Yeah. Oh, can I just like you know what's awesome? Yeah. Like, here's why. I also, like, I love this game. Look at that. Like, st- look at that. Like, body down there, and like, yeah. look at like those weird. Like the. Th- I think that what kept me into this game. Look at all these like like visuals. It's you know what it's I mean. It's pretty incredible. Doctor Evil, steal your mojo, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> it's um. No, like okay, so so here's well, well that's not really real. So here's here's what I kind of think it is. I think like work has just been busy. Um, I I know you know like I know too like your, your wife recently got a new job, and so I, I I'm thinking yep. that between work and at home, your responsibilities have like increased more. You know. Oh, absolutely. You know? So that's what I kind of you know. Yeah, well, that's what I kind of there was, there was also there was also some like personal health things going on. Oh, okay, okay. So I was yeah, trying yeah. to like I need, I really needed to take care of some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm starting to do that, but so that's good. That's good. It's very good. Yeah. But oh, on the bright good. side, I don't know do what this. other I don't know what other employer would just be like, hey, we've got like all this space and these unused rooms that's you know, go ahead and make it into a studio B and retro stuff. And yeah, the kids can use it. And oh my god, dude, that's like that that is so awesome. <laughs> I'm dude, I'm stoked. I am so glad that 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 I was able to that I was able to do that. It's, Heck yeah. um, it's kind of funny, it's like uh, it's like if I was in your position, it's like, pretend this is my wife calling. No, 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 I, I got extra work to do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. Come on, we got to beat the boss. What? No, 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 no. I was just talking about my boss. No, I don't. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, all good, mm-hmm. all good stuff. Oh, but sweet. kind of the point that I was like saying for all this is like with like things like with, you know with like emulation and all that and stuff that's like open source and community, you never know who's going to go after what or what stores are going to be, you know, go down, you know, you know, to go down and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, So, well, like I get somebody would maybe get like an Odin or some other device just to play switch. It's like, if it was like me, if I wanted to like really play, like, let's say like a switch game or like, you know, if I really wanted to play like, like, like switch games and let's say I did want to play them for free i would i would just get a switch and jailbreak it and be done with it but I'm not saying that that's right but you know what i mean like that's mm-hmm. and that's kind of like i knew like that was one of the reasons actually why i kind of wanted to get a steam deck because i knew like I'm not gonna i doubt valve is gonna go anywhere i'm like i should always have games and then worst case scenario like you know it's kind of like if you found out the store was going to like download everything i can to the device and stay in offline mode but yeah it's it's kind of an interesting an interesting time that we live in i think some people what do, oh um what's his name and i can't believe i can't remember his name oh god i always hate he also did a good he also did like a good video on i hate that like right now like i'm just having to like look through my subscription oh modern vintage gamer he also did a good video and he was like he was um <laughs> no shame how you game ed no he he was because like some people were, like, were paranoid about like the whole like oh my god are they gonna have to emulators and He's the like he's the guy that like he like he ported like Shantae over to like the uh, Switch like you know like the you know, the Game Boy Color version using emulation. And he was saying like like li- he was like listen this shouldn't like he felt pretty confident that like this shouldn't affect like other forms of like em- emulators out there that like doesn't you know like he didn't and I kind of agree with him like didn't see like Nintendo going after everything. This was just like affected the Switch their current sales, you know. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. That, that you know, that's all that I, that's all that I think it is. I mean, if you think about it, like that's like how Evercade was able to like you know that's how we have like Blaster Master on a mm-hmm. cart. Like Nintendo doesn't own that. You know, yes, it was playable on a Nintendo, but they just like, you know, there's other companies wow. that still like own the license to those games. They just needed some type of platform or something to put it on that people would spend, that people would spend money for. So yeah. I, I I think all that were good. I definitely don't see this changing or affecting Evercade in any way. Um. But it is, you know, it's something to be, it's something to be, uh, so, you know, something to be aware of. Um, but yeah, kind of what you're saying. Yeah, no, no judgment. Like I said, if somebody, if somebody kind of does that, um, 
kind of going back like but here's the thing though that i think maybe a lesson nintendo might like kind of maybe like to like take away from some of this is it like steam you know like steam they you know because they knew like you know, you know in the pc gaming world like piracy was rampant but they just kind of did like they did with video i say they did with video games what apple did with music is they just made it so super easy you know and what i mean is like you install their thing you click on the buy of the game you install the game and you're playing it and then there's sales you know what i mean mm -hmm. like when like when they make it easier than like having people go through the trouble of pirate you know i mean of course you know i'm just saying like obviously like you know you want to support the developers but if you take that part out of it like a lot of people respond to the convenience factor so that's all like maybe maybe nintendo just might have to uh, you know do some do some things but man oh my god i hope this is and I, I, well, I think hopefully DSs will still be cheap, but at some point, some point I thought about picking one of those up. Actually, I thought about even just like picking up just like a, a DS Lite, just that way I could play my Game Boy games on it. You get like what, like an R34 cart and you can play, you can play um, like DS games. But then I'm kind of torn between like, you know, like, you know, a system like, well, then I'm like, well, I like the form factor of this. And if I want to play physical cards, just get a physical thing. Um, dude, no, I love, no, I, <laughs> dude, I love Metal, Metal Storm, like, by Irem, I, so Metal Storm is one of those games, I forget whenever it came out, but that year that it came out, happened to be my birthday, and I think, yeah, that was a lot of money back then, like, I think I had gotten, I don't know, I, 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 that game I remember was at least, like, 50-something dollars, as I remember, like, I had that lying around for my birthday, kind of before people came over to the part, like, to my party, I remember I went to, like, to Walmart, and it just looked cool. Like robots, and then you know, and then I, I remember it was a short game. Like I remember beating it like that day or so after, but I didn't like. But it was like so much fun, and like the whole gravity. You know what? You and you and Wolf Den. I've heard like I've heard him say that too. Um, and it's a little bit bigger, but it's a clamshell, so it like folds in on it. You know that that's one that I that I that I've considered getting. And then if you want to like, then if you want to take it further, like if you don't care necessarily about us having physical cards, if you get like the Easy Flash that have like a bezel that it comes with where you can like pop it in the bottom and doesn't take up as much space. So it's like, so it's like, it's not actual like emulation. You know what I mean? Because it, it natively supports Game Boy Advance. So it's like you're playing, you could have like the whole Game Boy Advance library with you. And then you could also have like the, the DS library. Um, but for me though, because I do, you know, maybe on my, I think I was going to do it on my current, um, on my current members only. But then that video got to be like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll I don't know. I might show off some of my Game Boy cards, but I have a few of those multi cards that are kind of neat. Uh, but I've heard that like DS Lite, and those aren't too terribly expensive. Um, but yeah, that's always on my that's always on my radar. Oh yes, I totally know where you're at here. Um, okay, so I'm after my ramblings, right. what did somebody say? Oh, about, about full void. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, the one. So we went back to this game. The one thing that I'll say that. I loved about this game so much is that I, I had no, it was one of those few, like put it this way, Dukes, like the Duke one and two, I had high expectations and it delivered on it. Right. Like I, like I was like, man, this is going to be good. They do it right. It's going to be good. But full void. I remember seeing the trailer. I had no expectations and I was just kind of like, okay, this is new. I'm like, you know, but you know, I'm like, this is a single game cart, but in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, blaze picked this for a reason to be their single game cart, whether that was just, an easy license but i would i wanted to think that they saw this as something different and they were trying something new and so i was like all right and then it just this game blew me away and that's why i said even if i saw this for five dollars digitally it would have blended in with all the kind of indie games like this and i and i would have like missed what made this special like look at all this detail like that thing blinking the lights and i know they, they i think they had to hand draw a lot of stuff and they put in a lot of time i mean i got to figure out how to get past this part um you know and that's that's and for me that's what like separated this between like the dolphin collection is that is they were like so many cool visuals and mystere and everything just to keep me like sucked into this game and i would have missed out on it but that's like you know one of the great things about evercade is kind of like all these like little little things you know what pisses me off what tell us how you really feel mr shua for game <laughs> boy game boy color and gba freaking fakes there are unless it's a new game yeah no 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 i know what you mean it's um Truthfully, it's kind of, it's one of those, it's one of those things where if you're looking for, an, like, let's say if you're wanting to get something like Metroid Zero, one of the Metroid games or GBA, which I think loose, that's like a hundred bucks. If somebody has a listing, you know, 
for like twenty dollars. Obviously, it's fake. If somebody has a listing between fifty or hundred dollars, they they better have a picture showing that it's opened up. You know, that's kind of my whole thing is that if you're if you're buying, you know, it's like you definitely want to trust the source. And if you go to like a retro shop or someplace and you say, hey, like I want to buy that Pokemon Red, if they're unwilling to open up the cart, then I wouldn't buy for them. Um, you know, that, that's kind of why, like, when I got a lot of my a lot of my GBA game with a, a few of them off of a off of Amazon, like the Activision collection, which that I was pretty sure, I'm, I'm 99 percent sure that's real because I looked at it and it came with the booklet and it doesn't look like anything was a uh, fake there. And then when I saw it, like, it's one of those things too. If you see what other stuff the seller is selling, like if they just like that guy that I bought it from had like 50 copies, but they like you could I could kind of see some other stuff and they they didn't have more than one of the same cart. Like they were just like selling off like, you know, and there weren't just mainly like a retro store, but yeah. And you know, it's kind of, you know, you definitely got to trust the source. And it's like, yeah, if you can do like local, like local is always good. Unless you see like a trusted seller on, on Facebook. But um, for me, kind of why I did that in the, maybe I'll talk, I actually know I've talked about this a little more, but like, because I traded other retro games and stuff that I wasn't playing, then I, I didn't mind as much. Which is kind of weird, right? I'm like, okay, let me just kind of take a chance, and it was kind of it was kind of fun to collect some of the retro things, and it was really just trading. So yeah, I'm I'm weird about stuff like, but but like Evercade, I don't know, even I guess maybe even Worms, but yeah, there you go, you figured it out. I feel like anything like that is just a good value because like the number, the number of games that you get on a cart, and like, I think I think what maybe makes Evercade collecting more difficult. If you collect a lot of, well, I would say that, but I know if like Rich and Pete collect a little. Well, it, it could. I mean, we're all you know people have different budgets and what, like if you collect like a, like a lot of other retro things, maybe to fit in Evercade, I could see that. But like for me, it's it's just my it's my only physical media. <laughs> so that's like for me, it's why I made that decision. Like, look at this. Tell me that it's not great. That's yeah. I was, you know, that? that's where I kind of feel like with Pete, where he's like he, he like that's like I kind of like he just missed this game where like, right off the bat. I'm like, dude, just play it like. Look at all these like graph. Yeah, like check out that spine. I don't know. I I really dig the art style of this game. My only dilemma would be is that if they make a sequel to this, I'm like, oh crap, do I buy it right away or do I wait for the physical Evercade cart? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Um you know. But um what else? Oh, I'll I'll I'll, I'll wait to um show the video on Evercast, but since uh, like Dude, it kind of blew my mind that like uh, that how so like this kind of proves like how Blaze was able to like really tweak Glover. We'll have to test it, but they they put out a video, they tweeted out a video where they showed uh, the new Pico collection Glover running on not only Super Pocket but the OG Evercade. Oh, that's cool. That I thought, yeah, that I thought was pretty. That I thought was pretty neat. Um, but uh. But what else? Oh, I guess the good, uh, I guess maybe the good, th kind of going back to the user topic, I guess maybe the one good thing since Citra right now is kind of shut down that, um, that maybe we'll, maybe we'll see more content like, um, like, um, like, um, like with the three, like actually there's a whole community with like the 3DS like store and all that. Maybe that stuff will get more developed. But one thing they do say is that like when you, they just cut off the head of the Hydra, I think at some point we'll see Yuzu and some other, you know, those other emulators will come back. Stuff always comes back, but, um, it is, I guess, it is a shame that they did, that they, I mean, I get, like, you know, people wanting something for their work, but I think the only thing that's a shame about it is that because they did the, they had the paywall behind it and it got shut down, then they're like, kind of like all that knowledge is lost. So it does kind of suck for other people who are just like playing around, just want to do stuff. You know what I mean? That's all, that, you know, but it is what it, it is what it is. Mr. Shua. Oh, it's after 10. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. What? We can talk Evercade now. <laughs> Yeah. So Rich, I asked Ed yesterday, if you're going to build a, a desert... Okay, this is a fun question. If you're going to build a desert island Evercade cart with three games on it from the entire Evercade library, so it's like, hey, you're going to be trapped in a desert island, you get this okay. one cart with any three games from any collections, you know, licensing and stuff doesn't matter. What what three games would you pick? And then I'll tell you what I picked. It'll be fun. I'm curious to see if we matched on anything. Wow. That's, yeah. that's wild because yeah. there's so many games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, it wasn't necessarily like a definitive because it was a hard, it was a hard, I'm like, here are definitely three games that I would like, I kind of answered, but here are three games I wouldn't regret bringing. Like, you know, the, yeah. like, the, you know, would, could, could my, could I, could it change in the future if I asked again? Yes. But I, I immediately thought of three games. Yeah, I would probably go. 
Hmm. Well, Asteroids is definitely on the list. Okay. Because yeah, I got to have it. And then I want... <clears throat> I mean, it's Desert Island. I want an RPG. So I'm probably taking ba- Brave Battle. Okay. So I could probably take a Brave Battle Saga. And then... You think you could keep playing through that multiple times? Yeah, 100%. Cool, cool, 100%. Cool. And then... I want a third game. Um... You gonna take any score chasers? Well, asteroids. That was right. Okay, that's right. Asteroids. That's yeah. right. Brave battles. Um, that's right. That's right. And then maybe, uh, yeah, maybe one of those uh, one of, and like an action platformer. So maybe maybe we'll do Cathedral or something like that. Ooh, that would be a good one. Yeah. So mine are very simple. Now, now I was gonna say, damn you, fandom. Now I'm like, no. his, his are almost the exact same as mine. So. Like I picked like Xeno Crisis because I'm like, okay, that game I beat on easy with save states. I haven't beat up like that game. I would have a lot. I I, I love it's like Smash t- t- a TV. I would have a lot like a lot of replay be- replayability. And then Food Fight is like one of my like favorite like score chasers like on the Evercade. And, like I can always like play a Food Fight. But then he picked Donut Dodo, and I might have to change mine to that because before I said like Pac Man, I'm like it's not my. I'd rather have Miss Pac Man. But that's but yeah, Donut Dodo, yeah. Yeah, Donut Dodo is pretty good. Yeah, I know. I just, I hope, with that said, I do, and I'll probably bring this up in the place, I hope that they make it so it can be put on the Super Pocket, because I would love to, I would love to test that, and then I hope they get rid of that little bit of lag between the, like, the loading screens, because when you have the mojo going, and you just want it to load, it's, it feels like forever, even though it's really not. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, no, those are great choices, fan. That's Yeah, 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 stuff yeah. like, like, those three games, I know, um, yeah, Brave Battle. So, because I, I, I wonder, like, how often would I replay through that? I mean, that's a great one, but I'm like, I'm like, well, if you're trapped in a desert, like, would you maybe, like, would it be enough to have like a playthrough, like the equivalent of like once a month, and then you switch back? And yeah, those are good choices, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got like, if anything, this is gonna sound funny, but like, my only complaint about Indie Heroes Two is like making yourself play something else other than Donut Dodo, because <laughs> it's that good, of, it's that much fun of a game, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which I will say that like um, like the Alien Cat Enhanced Edition, I didn't play it enough on the if on the, you know on the second Indie Heroes, but I will tell you there's more than thirty levels. So because it said like enhanced graphics and like I on my stream then I got to like level thirty and then it got like super hard. I'm like ooh. <laughs> oh, would have to. Oh, yeah. you know what? I totally. Oh my God, Mr. Shua, I totally completely forgot about because those I, you could pick any evercade games like the ones that are on actual mm-hmm, cards mm-hmm. dude like That's street true. fighter street fighter 2 could be great even for me like mega man 2 would almost be another would almost like like that i like love that game mega wow. man 2 is great yeah it's, it's my favorite mega man game i got it dude i you know what like i hate i so hate that like i'm not as good as that when i was like a teenager because like that game like it's like i want to i like I did, I like that game so much that I like every day I would just like I would just like fire at Mega Man, put it on the difficulty level. Like I feel like I could go in and like beat it like in thirty minutes. You know what I mean? Like right. And it was just like I got I was like so good at that game that like I didn't I didn't need to do any of the bosses. Like I could use pellets to kill any. You know, like I just be like get Metal Man. I don't I I don't need that. I don't need like the devices like number two or whatever. Matter of fact, I just used to love to start with the Quick Man stage because that was like the hardest. You know. And I was, you know, I felt like, you know, I played the game blindfolded, but you know what I mean? Like, I love, and like, that game still has, like, one of the greatest, and also kind of, like, sad endings. Like, I, you know, like, I love that. But um, for me, like, nostalgia-wise, and I think I may have already told the story, but I don't care. I'll tell it again. But, like, you know, it was one of those games that stood up for my childhood beating it, because it's one of those ones, you know, where, like, you know, early on in my gaming career, like, I had, you know, between, like, all friends and people that I knew within the kid network, like, if there was a game that I wanted to play, I would kind of like, I knew who had it, what friend's house, you know. Yeah. And so I can remember like Mega Man 2, like that, because like that was just great. That totally blew us. So when I remember, I think it was in the summertime, it was like in an afternoon, we, you know, spent the whole day playing it. And then this was before like it being a Nintendo Power and you had to get to the boss. But like in that game, like Dr. Wily in his alien form is so difficult because you can only use, well, especially back, you could only use pellets. And if he hits you three times and, I can remember as one of those types. I remember that his name was Alex. 
Uh, I think like we were getting to the point where it's getting frustrating and he like wanted to give up. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go outside. And I'm like, no, I have to play. And then I, and then I did find, because it was one of those things where um, we were like trading, like, you know, I think it was one of those things where maybe you played it enough at other people's houses, but like, we were just like, you know, like trading off debts. I'm like, no, I have to beat it. And then it was like totally worth it. And I can't remember if his mom was yelling for us to get up, but you know, it was like one of those, like one of those things where you weren't sure because of like forces, if you were going to be able to beat it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will tell you this. Okay. This is the second, this is the second one I had to like, you look, this is so incredibly stupid, easy. I way overthought this. I way overthought this. Oh my, did, yeah, you just, yeah, and you figured it out. Yeah, you just, I, I was like trying everything, beating my head. Yeah, you just walk it, away. As, as soon as, it, yeah, as soon as it fell on me, and I'm like, oh, I need to get out of the way. Cause, because yeah. cut scenes matter. Like, and it, that's the weird thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Please, if you're, if you're listening, strategy RPG, please. Heck okay. yeah, man. Well, I mean, I know we got, I know we have one, but I'd like another one. Heck yeah, RPGs are always great, especially the ones that we have like little known we haven't played. But um, I do have like the, the the first two like the Mega Man collections on PS4. I need to go back. I need to beat what is it like Mega Man Six uh, that for that way, I've completed all the ones for Nintendo. Mm -hmm. But there was a period of time where I was just like play. I I I was just play. Actually, no, I was playing from two. I don't think I've beaten one either because one is just a little bit frustrating. Um. But I was just kind of like playing them in order. <laughs> One of them, I want to say, I want to say it's Mega Man. I think it's Mega Man 5 for Game Boy or Game Boy Color that was like towards the end of the light. But that one is like, it, it's its own Mega Man. And I think that's why it's one of the more expensive ones. That one I got to play. It's like, it's different that's on there than anything else. I'm sure there are some on Steam that Blaze could get for Evercade. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. Some of those other RPGs. Yeah. Like kind of like they've done. I hope so. I hope so. Um, that's what I get. The, the Pico, <laughs> the Pico one cart, <laughs> and to think on that device because that RPG was like what, like thirty-two to thirty-five hours, and playing it with like, uh, you know, using micro USB to take five hours or so to charge. But yeah, yeah, that's a great, like a, a great little, great little game to play on that. From that handheld there, I'm, I'm sure we'll see more of it. Actually, Breath of Fire. I need to go. I was actually started to get into that, and that's actually a really good, good RPG. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you died. Yeah, I did. didn't die. Okay, I was like, what? Oh no, I definitely died. No, you did. Yeah, no, I was looking. Like, yeah, actually, the, the hilarious deaths in this that I think in this game, and when you're in the sewer and you just like slip and you fall in the water and die. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, those were those were weird. Like you would have thought you would have fallen in lava. It's just like, yeah. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Oh, am I supposed to? I don't know. I think you know. I mean, there's only one thing you could do is to send him down to hit the button. But. Try that and see what happens. That's what I love, and then let you like count the squares. So now that that thing went down. Yeah. But I can't hit any other buttons. No, but you want you go down to where that thing went to. No. <laughs> Wait, you die? Yeah. Because that's where I came from. So. Okay, go back on that stupid thing. Yeah, I go up here. Oh, uh, okay. So that's, that, okay, that's not what you have to do then. Yeah. And I sent him down to the other one. I hit the button over there, but it's not on. I mean, it, clearly you need to get over to where that thing is. Yeah. But. How do you get to over there? How do you get over well, there? Well, you have that lever over there too. Don't forget. What lever? That box that's blinking at you. That's a, like climb up the thing. It's, it's right there to your left. Uh, oh left. yeah, but that's how you that's how you control the dude. You get up there to go to control the dude. That's right. So, so then, you bring him. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to. 
What if I what if I use this little morph thing? Yes, um, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, we're missing something. And you would think because I've I've done all these, but <laughs> I just like said like seriously like, do the brain know, parts. Like... Or the Evercast. Those of you guys ever try to reach oh, out yeah. someone from Blaze on on Karg. I didn't didn't like that. Well, I mean, so no, we haven't, but no, we have on Evercast. They would definitely belong more like on Evercast. Yeah, I don't like. I don't know. I don't want to say like we we fright. I know sometimes I like have the feeling that like we've like frightened away Blaze. They're hard to they're hard to read, right? Because it's, I, I, but then sometimes like they reach out to us like, hey, do you want to test this cool? Be involved in this cool thing? It's like, oh well. Yeah. I thought you hated us for some reason. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's kind of like I like like I don't like I don't know or like was Pete like well, too grumpy. There's, there's a lot of stuff that's going on too. Like yeah, you know, like even even stuff that's like non that doesn't have anything to do with Evercade going on yeah. with some of the team members, you know. So, yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, like paternity leaves and stuff, yeah, or maternity, paternity yep. whatever, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, yeah, yeah. So, I wonder if you just, whoops, I wonder if you're supposed to jump off of this and then grab this thing. Nope, what the heck am I supposed to do? Oh, am I supposed to just go down? No, no. Back on the thing, yeah. You definitely have to go on the thing and hit down or up or whatever. Yeah, I, I like on. that. I, I promise I haven't had anything to drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of it's weird. I feel like I, yeah, I want to. Oh, you know what? I want to. Okay, here's what I think it is. I think you need to have him go over here and then like use that morph ability into that thing, maybe. All right, like try having him go over. It's See, and that's like I want to say with like some of these riddles, there's something simple, stupid like that. Yeah. All right. Let's try. It. Let's send them over there and do the morph instead of the button. Yeah. So we go up, over, over. One. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down. Morph. Go. It's either going to be down morph or you or or you're going to morph on the thing, which we'll see one of the two. Try just yeah, try removing the down and going all the way to the right, and then just morph. Oh, okay. I want to say he just like shoots into the thing. Yeah, try that. Yep. There you go. See, and All that's right. what's so, and that's what's so cool about interacting with the objects. I want to I, I want to say this one stumped me for a while, and then I was and I did not expect that, but I was like, fine, maybe I'm just supposed to morph at the end of the interaction. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> and just walk off the hand. Yeah. But see, you did the see. That's what I mean. Like, it's like the other like, but you did the other ones that um mm -hmm. that I had trouble with. But yeah, see, that's what's great about this game. Like you forget that like that purple thing in the like you can actually interact with that but you're like can i interact with it or is that just really cool art and that's why after you tried everything else and then i started paying attention to this instead of myself talking i'm like wait a second i'm like i think you just have to like morph them at the end i'm like because mm -hmm. I, I, I was kind of remembering i think i tried everything you did like does he go down hit the lever i fall if i die <laughs> what a creepy hand oh, like man. there's just like this cool beauty in this game of the art style that just like makes it like so much <clears throat> Yeah, man. Like I'm, I'm even like I've beaten this, and I'm like just like really enjoying like watching you play this. <laughs> yeah, he's like, come on, <laughs> right? He's like, come on over here, hang out. And like the green eye like blinks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. Now I, I know, it. right? Like, yeah, no kidding. That's okay. what I mean. That pixel art ages like so well. Like it's 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 eight it's it's yep. eight. Yeah. Versus I don't know even something I don't know like Virtua Fighter, like yeah it still looks cool but I but like if you compare it to something like Street Fighter, or like any like the other like two D fighters they still like, you know they look great. Same. 
luckily, you know what? Because like, what's it, like very well, like pixel art could have like died out. Because you know, like for video games, because the natural progression were 3D games. I think what keep what kept and what, what keeps it alive is indie games because they're like, hey, oh shit. You know, you know, and, and I think not only I think not only people make indie games. Not only I think not only is it a combination of the passion. I think it's also a necessity. Like, hey, it's much easier to do pixel art. We don't have to have like all this like high powered computers. We don't have to have the team of people. Mm-hmm. You know, you can just you know, it's it's e- it's easier to to render and it's easier to, to for one person to make a game like that. So that's what keeps it alive. Yeah, I'm gonna say might have to rock the thing. Yay! Yep. See, and this is just like scary. Like you're like in this underground system. I mean, yeah. Oh, what? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, what? Uh oh. Yep. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, yeah, you did that by accident. You know, it's great the natural reaction. You're like, yeah, I totally I was like, uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. But that's what's so great, though. These things are always watching, always stalking you. Like, Whoa. look at that. Yeah. And like the music. It's, you know. See, that's what I mean. There's just like so many cool. Now, I know if you re- read the comic book, I guess there's maybe a little more of the prequel, but I, but I, I didn't even do that. I think I, I like. So I'm going to come out and get you. Yeah, and see, that's the neat thing. It's like, oh, I can press up there. Ah, uh, yes. Can he do it? I Okay, real quick, Rich. <laughs> I will tell you, I hate this puzzle, this, this particular one. Yeah. Because once you do it on this side... You have to do it, match it on the other one. And if you get it wrong, you have to do them both again. Like this will really test your pace because it'll trick you. Sometimes it'll flip where you think you can do it on the first one, but you just got to watch it. Ah, see it, see it, see, see it trolls you. And now you got to do yeah. them both again. Like yeah. I want, I, I think I might've spent a legit like 10 minute, five or 10 minutes. I may even had to take a break and do another play session because it was, I would get one and then, yep. All right. This is one of the most, it's, it's great, but one of the most frustrating puzzles in the games. Honestly, with all these industry layoffs, I'm hoping to see some reassurance, bigger push for more indie games like AAA titles are great, but lack, but they lack the soul. Uh huh. Of indie games. Yep. Exactly. Small studio. Yeah. Exactly. No, I agree. Because I kind of feel like the AAA games, as long as they like look realistic. And they have a certain element to them. People will buy them, or they'll pre-order them enough, which is kind of a shame. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, that thing with the big eye. Can I jump? Nope. What the? <laughs> I guess I have to let myself down. Try that. Yeah, yeah, you figured out. Yeah, it's Metal it's Gear. Really watching you there. Metal Gear. Oh shit! I think we'll see more game companies get brought up. Yeah, no. At least I would hope with some of those companies that maybe they could like, like merge like some of those people that get layoff. They can make their own company and put out some cool stuff because there's like a lot of talent. Yeah, I was like, can I even hide behind those? And it's like, what are they doing? Are they just like built like other robots in various stages? And like, are they building other robots? Are they building human type robots? It's like so weird. Right. And then even like the stuff in the controls, like the seaweed and, and like the, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's either seaweed or a hand moving. Like it's just, yeah, it's just hand moving, but like. The sea or whatever the wheat the that's the breathing tubes in there. Like uh-huh. the level of detail is just amazing. Like I love it. Like what the I didn't move. Mm, gotcha. 
I know. Oh. <laughs> and see, and that's what they, they made this very much like a horror movie. Kind of like it reminds me if you were to watch like a horror movie like on television, like you don't actually see the kill, but it's like you see the oh, like you see Michael Myers' knife like come down. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Right. And they kind of do it like you see it from the perspective of the character, which makes it scarier. And it's weird because it's almost like are they trying to conserve power? Like it's weird, like it's on a loop like that. I don't know. So many questions. Oh. Know. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoot. <laughs> now, this game will test your patience. Do, 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 do. Go, 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 go. <gasps> Why am I yawning? <laughs> I don't like the fact that it does the, the thing. Yep. Can I, I can't duck. Oh, huh, I why did it could, see you there? That's weird. I could duck. Oh, you know what? The water isn't filled up as high over there, I think. Well, that they... they the thing it it fills and then doesn't fill oh yeah yeah i see yeah like it's all the way drained there you go that's all i can say go to that one and then stop and then yeah not <laughs> You know what? I think I just naturally went to that farther one. Oh, like, I, I never realized that, that, yeah, the partial fill. Now I'm all the way back here. Oh, come yep, on. Yep, I know, I know. Hey, it could be worse, but yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is where, like, you can't, like, if this wasn't a native game where save states come in handy, because you're like, fine, I'll just do a save state there, and then if I screw up, I can just go right back. Right. But... Wonder if I, yeah, I can. See yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You just got a. You just got a boogie. Damn. All right. Huh. Yeah. That other one goes down it's pretty fast. Me, so. The only thing I can think of is if I. I have to duck. Yeah. Let me see if I can. I'm just gonna. I'm practicing ducking, but it won't. It won't let me. It won't let me duck. Ah. Hmm. Come on. No, it won't let me do that either. Okay, I know what you have to do. Um, when you get to the second screen, instead of stopping at that for, at, at like the first container, yeah, I think you have to go until you get to the second container, and then as soon as. And then as soon as you're able to, then I, then I think you just have to go all the way off one, uh, one screen and do it. Like. He, he immediately. Like, skip the first one. Go to, like, go, go, go. Oh, and then stop. 
Oh, stop here. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Now go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's the only other that's the only other combination that makes sense we haven't tried. <laughs> I'm hoping that yeah, Buzz buys Disney renames or something like Mouse X. <laughs> oh, I've got a <laughs> Yeah, I think you probably know what you have to do on this one. So I gotta I gotta go up first though. Yeah. Alright, so up, over, up. Over, 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 down, morph. Yeah, it's either yeah, it's either down morph or just morph. I forget. You'll find out. All right, so just morph. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's what's great though. Like you get to keep you get to keep trying these things and just like that man, like those beings in the background and the rope, like the attention to detail. It's like. It really just sets the stage of like this, like you're in, the, in this like sci-fi movie. I think that's why I liked it so much is you really yeah. do get that feeling. So then I jump on you. Yep. Now what? Oh, go up here. Got it. And then now it's like you have like the spookiness of do I need to go back to the left? Do I go right? Which way do I have to go? I mean, I gotta go to this ledge, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Let me try it again. Nope. All right. So we're going to the left. Oh, yeah, this is a fun one. Just what? Yeah, this is fun watching, like, watching you play, like, trying stuff. Because, like, like, I did, like, the same, like, the same thing. Oh. Huh. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Cause it's like wait. Oh, maybe he doesn't need to move. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I was like, that should have yeah. Yeah. See that's the great thing. It's like, wait, do I just morph first and then he's not morphing. Huh. No, you have the right you definitely have like the right idea. Oh, that's right. There's some of the, there's one of the thing you have to do uh, that you have to do before you do that. There you go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, which is kind of because I forgot. I was like, oh yeah, like I think I accidentally did that. But yeah, you got the. Yeah, that one that, that one other exercise where like he goes into that into the out into that robot and you have to move out of the way. Like it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was like, because initially when I did this, I just had him kind of go into it. Huh. Well, you have to come, does he have to come out? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. So what do I have to do with him? Ah, see that lever? It goes back up. So he has uh. to hold it. But there's just one other, yeah. There's just one. Oh, see, no, 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 no. You did it. It's I, it's hard. It's wait. I think you did it. Maybe. No, go back this way. Inspect the other the other side of that the tube. Oh, okay. And I think you'll know what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I was like, I didn't want to say, like, I don't think that lid is off. Yeah. But yeah, um, but you know, you have the right idea. Like with me, like initially, like I put him in there. I was like, why does he just activate and then die? And then it's like, yeah, you can have him move, like, move beyond that. But that's what's so cool, though. This game lets you keep, like, trying. So, yep. But see, this is like so creepy though. Like, look at all these like like babies, and it's like an incubator, like it's like rocking it. That is wild. Oh shoot. Yeah, I want to say you're. I think you're probably like thirty minutes away, maybe less from beating the game. I think. Okay. Like you're getting close to the ending. But depending how you feel, you may want to save it for another place. Oh, what's this? I'm going there. Yeah, you're either thirty minutes or an hour away. I'm so I'm, I'm just like trying to think. Like, oh no, no, you're okay. No, no, you're okay. No, you're 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 a lot closer. Yeah, you're. I was gonna say in the dome with the kids. What the? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're maybe yeah. So what do I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, you figured, you just figured it out. But there's, what, yeah, I want to see when you get to the harder challenge. Yeah, I want to say you're like less than 30 minutes away. Okay. What the? Yeah, watch the kid. Yeah. So I do think this is tough. Jump, jump. Oh, jump, jump, crawl. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whoops. <laughs> gotcha. I know. You got to do it exact. Yeah. See ya. Oh. This is really fun. No, you got to do that. So this, okay, so real quick. So this one, I will tell you, like, here, like, it's like Simon says, like, the great thing is that, like, no, you, you uh, got to go up. But the, the great thing is the pattern, it just builds. So it doesn't change. So you just have to, like, memorize the kind of the whole thing. Yeah. And then just walk. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Yeah, this is one of the hardest things in the game because you're just like, yeah, you just have to like memorize, like, you know, you just have to go through until you like memorize it. the piano from big yeah i think it was the one like right before it uh oh got it so yep yep
go, go, go. I don't know if he turns back around. It's like Simon. Should I go in there? I don't know if you can. You can try. I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. All right. Got achievement. Oh, you, un oh, you unlocked an achievement. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you were blocking it. Yeah. And that's what's cool. There's so many of those. But it's weird, though. Like, again, the kid's talking to the doctor. So you're like, are they prisoners? Are they being held? What What is this? You know, like, yeah. was, I'm like, are they powering the machines? I mean, it's just like, there's so many, like, there's so many questions. Uh... Yeah, I was like, you know what to do here. Go, go, go. Okay, maybe now you might be thirty minutes away. I don't know, but like you're you're getting closer to the to the ending. But you know, I say that I'm like, it could be a great rage pick moment if you have no patience. Yeah. Um, should I go through there? It's one. Yeah, you either. It's one. Yeah, dude. This like this part here. Wow. Is like really dark. I was like, like, like. I was like, is that tube? Yeah, he falls. I'm like, is that tube like sucking their brains? Are they being harvested? And then that one just, you know, I was like, did he escape or was he just meant to fall? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I think they have like, do they have like, they have like, um, VR goggles? I don't like VR goggles on. I don't know. It's like, ah, yeah, you're farther along than I thought, but not, maybe not far enough. I don't know if that makes any sense. Ah, <laughs> I don't think you can. No, we can't turn around. You might. Oh, that's right. You might have to go. Yeah, uh, turn around. You might have to go the other way first. Yeah. Like go up there. But un unlike another world, there's not like 50 screens you have to go. You know, that that's what I love about this game. There's maybe like one or two screens of backtracking. Huh. Oh, I know. Oh, I know what you have to do. Go back to the right. See if you see if you see it. Well, there's that thing over there. But how do you even get up there? Ah, you see, let's see the, the fire pattern. You have to go quickly. Yeah, I mean, it starts almost immediately, though. See, right there. But you can't stay in the middle. But what about the one, but I think you might have to go up on the left first. The oh. right. Ah! I know there's something the controls can get funky, but yeah, I think you have to jump up on that little ledge there. Ah. <laughs> I know, so that's what happens. It's like, dang it. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. This is interesting. Yeah, because... Yeah, I think once you get up there... There we go. Yeah, I want. I think you can open. Can you? Can that? Can that open? No. So. Oh, you know what it is. Oh shoot! Get it back up there. There we go. And that should buy me enough time. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, so you got it. Oh, come on! <laughs> I know. At least. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fun, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure why. Like, maybe you need to go up there to do something, and it's like, yeah, it's a safe spot for them to go by you. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've had that happen with the controls. It's like, yay. <laughs> All right, there we go. See, fun stuff, man. You fun like stuff. That. And I mean, yeah, but there's like no combat in this game, too. That's what's so awesome. It's like, right? It, it keeps you disengaged. Uh... Well, that's okay. <laughs> Someone put a switch yeah. there to torture us. I was like, yeah, you probably need to die or go back in the room to reset that. You may just have to like hurry and just try to jump up on that thing. It won't let me jump. Oh, you can't jump as soon as. No. So I'm trapped. Oh, I know. I um, you gotta. Um, you can't proceed this way. You gotta go. You gotta you go. go backtrack now. Yes, yes. And you'll see. You'll 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 when yeah. Yeah, I remember I did the same thing, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. So this is a little bit of the Metroidvania part, but it's only over one screen. See, there you go. Oh, okay, because the steam's not there now. Okay, yes, got yeah. See, that's what I like about this game. It's like, oh yeah, I only have to literally go over one screen. These like small ass tunnels. <laughs> I guess we're going this way. Cool. Yeah, I want to say that probably we like one more. Definitely, like your next play session, you will probably you'll probably beat it. Yeah, because that's what I was like. Yeah, if you can. I don't know if you can push that yet. Well, that's why I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, I think maybe you're not as close as I think you are, but you're not as far. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you do have to get that block over there somehow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I know I know what you have to do. Yeah, you got to go back around. Yep. And then push that thing on and then push it over. Yep. Do, 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 do. Like, it's just weird. Like, I don't know why. That, maybe it was like stuck over there. Like, well, why couldn't I just pull the damn thing from over there? Why do I have to be here first? Right. Come on, get on the ladder. Uh, are you, huh? I guess you have to slink up I'll there. Just, and, really? I'll just up there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would have thought that too. You could have just climbed. So yeah, I guess that the it, it's funny when the next yeah that's right April 29th is my birthday. Nice. Maybe that means like the next collections we're looking at have to be cool. I don't know. Right. Oh. No. Push. Oh, okay. There you go. Come on. Uh, oh no, it's stuck up there. Uh, I was like, okay. I was like, really? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. 
There you go. Yeah, I think that one I kind of figured that out by accident. I'm like, oh, okay. It just kind of falls. Because at first I thought I was going to have to like cover over the fire, but I was like, oh. Let, let go. Kool Aid Man doesn't want to let go. Yeah, right. Uh, All right. That's so great that that exists. And then what else? There's like other like weird like like a jelly control. I forget. There's like other like weird like hot yeah, dog it's, controllers. <clears throat> it's um, it's it's Oscar Mayer, um, Heinz ketchup, um, the Kool Aid, and then one other. Can't remember what the other one is. I'm trying to find there. Oh, okay. That's okay. I found the store. What's gonna happen if I share this? What did that do? Uh, it made you really small. But um, yeah, hi, yeah. Heinz macaroni and cheese. <laughs> oh, macaroni and cheese. That's the one. And then we have this like pixel art Bluetooth. And then, oh, this other cool pixel art. Yeah, there's the the hot dog, the Oscar Mayer. Oh, that's a rooster. Kool-Aid. I don't know. And then these other ones. Mm. Uh, ladybug, Cat Noir, Spearbox, Twin, yeah, Twin Rooster, Hot Dog, Retro Pepper, Okay, yeah, that's great. That's dude for that's wow, that's cool. You got a forty dollar controller. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, actually, Mister Shoe at Rogue Light is different. So what's uh, oh, it's it's so it's funny. Um, is that so? Like Rogue Like. Like that's like there is a, actually a, something called Rogue Light, which is supposed to be an ABB like a not as like hard version. Uh, but anyways, mm -hmm. without me being uh, going down the neurodivergent rabbit hole, like a peanut butter and jelly controller. Um, definitely like, bl like blood cells, especially since they made like the Castlevania expansion D or DLC, which is really great because you get to like play through that. Um, yeah, blood cells uh, and um, dead cells and Hades. Um, but actually, uh, where the hell is? Oh, actually, and if you uh, there's another one, Slay the Spire. If you um, that one is a roguelike uh, card game. So maybe those are my top. That one I think I have like over 400 hours in it, and it's a single it's a single player card game. But it's great though because it's like you have to like build your deck as you go, and there's bosses and and then. Um, people made like a free like DLC for that where then you can play as the bosses and you fight the heroes. So yeah, those are my current, my current favorite ones. There's probably some other like roguelike games that I have on my Steam Deck that I haven't played, like Legacy, like um, Rogue Legacy, stuff like that that I haven't played in a long time. That I'm forgetting about, I do want to pick up Rogue Legacy 2 when that goes on sale, but like I haven't fully completed Rogue Legacy 1. And maybe one of these days I'll get in the Souls into the Souls games. Yeah, Demon Souls was the one that I played. No, no, no. They're both no. They're both they're both rogue. They're both definitely they're both roguelikes. Um, because in Dead Cells you unlock things. I don't necessarily think Dead Cells is like easier like per se. I think like rogue like rogue lights are supposed. to... I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember. Like I think it's a, it has rogue like elements, but it's like easier. Like there may not be permadeath. I don't know. It's kind of up for like a trip. I, I've I've sometimes seen ones called like rogue light rogue lights, and I'm like it's a rogue like. I don't know. I almost kind of feel like for advertising that was kind of like made up. <laughs> Smoosh. Yeah, look at that! Like that kid, like studying his yeah. brain, like the brain chart. It's just like, so that's what I'm like. Who's controlling what? What's going on? It's, it's like they, I just I love that. They just, they just keep you guessing. What? Yeah, and then like, but like, yeah, by pulling that switch, but then like, huh? Like you freed him. He went through the tunnel. I know that make things very confusing. I, I, exactly. <laughs> Crumbles caress, huh? All right. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's weird. Like, like, she's just um. 
Yeah, I like the road, the road like, road like genres because there's there's like so much replay value. Like the diff, like, like Xeno, like the reason why Xeno Crisis isn't any like a roguelike game is because uh, it's just it's just randomly generated levels, but you don't permanently unlock things as you play it. So like that's, you know. Yeah, those are like the kind of like the two main like like for like roguelikes like you know once you die you start over um being able to but permanently being able to unlock things and like randomly generated levels those are like the, the main three things i can't get past the, the graphics and color that every kid can output i know i know but i mean like to be fair though like you can like i you can do like with single board computers you can do like a lot or I should say with lower end. The problem is that like I kind of feel like that um up to like the PlayStation era, like up to the like 32 bit, like a lot of bit a lot of devices can emulate that. So it almost kind of gets like forgotten where you where people are just like looking for like the wow factor of oh, can it do N64? Can it do Dreamcast? Can it do PS2? Can it do PS3? Sometimes I feel like that gets lost. Um but yeah, like when I got back in emulation before ever kid, I could play everything up to PS1. And even some N64, like maybe like Mario, like on a like on a like on a Fire Stick. Although N64 was iffy, like Mario was still kind of you know like I don't think you would really want to. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is it, it it's great though. That's that's the thing that Evercade did right. They're like, okay, we can't have the most expensive hardware. We need to have something decent for what we can play. And and then they realized their biggest competitor is being able to do all this for free because they didn't want to become a limited run games. You know what I mean? Because like let's say if like if like all the carts are like fifty dollars, then it'd be like, ooh, yeah. that, would, that would be then that would be like really expensive. Then it'd be like, man, I just you know, then I wouldn't be able just to like buy like the CC. I'm like, I'm not paying fifty bucks. I'm like, then that then that would really add up. I'd be like, man, but they they have it priced. They have it priced right. Oh wow, I think you're getting really close. Crap, you may you may just beat it here tonight. Yeah, well, like if y'all like, I don't know, like y'all remember, what was it like the? I want to not the Kid Chameleon, but you know there was like that console that that ended up being like faked, and it only got brought up during dare saying like during the Miko. You know what I'm talking about? Like they were gonna make like a modern cartridge based console, and then they come to find out it was like a. Just like a suit, like you know, but like when they brought it to shows and things, it was like behind glass, and then they come to find out it was just like a, like a Super Nintendo underneath with like a flash cart or something. Oh, the Kim, the Kim Retro Chameleon. Chameleon wasn't it called like the Retro yeah. Chameleon? Yeah. Like it was supposed to, it was supposed to do what that, what, like what Evercade is, and yeah, for twenty bucks, exactly. And that's what, the, except now, what Evercade has realized, like, hey we can't just continue just to release like retro stuff. We got to be more innovative. And that's what they've done. Like with the Dukes and they still have what retro. one. Oh, he, he got you there. What? I know. Right. Yeah. See, that's a weird one. You realize you could, you can just like barely like shake free. Ooh. The hell out of there. Huh? You see that? He turned. Yeah. He turned green to you instead of red. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're probably five or ten minutes away from beating the game. Okay. You're like, if you want to. I can't stop you on a good day. But then you'll miss the ending. Uh, oh, you've seen my video. That's all good, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, what am I supposed to do? Wait for this. So wait for this cutscene, and then. So here's the danger, right? So, and I'll leave it up. To, uh, I'll, I'll I'll leave it up to you. Because I know it's getting late your time. You could go ahead and beat it now, but then you might. But then we might have to talk about it. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, and you see that it's like, whoosh, like it's going through, like. Yeah, like, just yeah, like, yeah. like 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 this climb up and go through the ledge on the left, and like you can kind of get an idea of what you have to kind of go like kind of go through. 
Or is it the one down there? Uh, I think it's over here. On the right? Yeah, There's yeah. The door. It's... Whoa. You bet you're going to... Oh, just, yeah. So there's there, there's there's this yeah there's a series of these things that you that you have to there's like a few screens of these things that you have to like go through, and then after that then you like you 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 beat it. Um. Well, I don't like that. So that's why. So that's why I say like. Um, yeah, you're like 10 to 20 minutes away from I like 30 minutes stops. I know I'm like so bad with time, but you're but like you are like really you are like really close there. So is this like the final boss? It's like the the fight, yeah, the final yeah, yeah, like the final sequence of things you have to go through. But then but then afterwards you're gonna I am pretty sure you're gonna like wanna talk about it. Or we just be like, oh we we'll, we'll talk about it next time. I don't know. That's why I said it, it's up to you because it's 10 o'clock my time, it's eleven o'clock your time. I'm good either way. Oh come on! <laughs> I had. I was gonna. I was gonna say once you beat it, I don't know if like you can just go to bed and not talk about it a little bit. I don't know. Just yeah, I. Like, I'm this not is sure. A good, this is a good stopping point. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can. If I can't get past the ladder yeah. again, because even like whether like whether you beat this offline or it, whether you stream it on your channel, wh whether you do this without that, it, it'll believe because you know we'll want to we'll want to talk about it for a little bit. He's like, I'm hanging. Because I do like, I, I think I still have saved. I, delete it. I might still have saved the clip like like at the end where I beat it if we needed to like reshow when we, when we talk about it. So I should check inside. Uh, I didn't get, hopefully I didn't get rid of that freeing up space. Oh, I might have. But it's not, I, but my save is still there. It's not, I, could, I could beat it again. Or you could, one of us could easily beat it live if we had to. It's not. It's not that difficult once you get to that point. Oh shoot! Yeah, I don't have that clip anymore. That's fine. Or oh, actually, we could. Even, you know what? I forgot. Yeah, I could just. I could. Just, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it would be. It, it would be like an. It would be like an inception. Oh, so just so here to stop here for a second. Once yeah. you crawl back around and you get through, you see, like, once you crawl all the way and get through this and go to the top right one yeah. and get to him. Yeah. I think then that's when you beat the game. Okay. So like I you're mean, very close. Let's go for it then. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like super, super close. No, oh, almost. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, yeah, next time just like just stop before the the blast gets you through the things. Like stop there. See, I, it took me a minute to figure that out. I'm like, what? What? I'm like, what's killing me? Then I'm like, oh yeah. Whoa. Just swing yourself. Yeah. There you go. All right, all right. Oh shoot! Damn. Oh, <laughs> that is the, the yeah. It's, oh, it brings you all the way back. Yes, yeah, you rough. have to do this that's whole. Like, I want to say, like, my last save is like right here. So that's like when I grabbed footage, I was like, I had to like play through this. But yeah. All right, we got this. There we go. Yeah, in this part, I was like, at first, I was like, wait, do I need to use the rope again? I'm like, no, you just, you just. 
go across and not be greedy. Whoa! Oh yeah, this part is fun. Okay. Yep. Here's the ending, everybody. Whoo! There's your friend. Huh. I know that was so sad. I was like, he lived. Like he lived. And yeah, I know. I know. I felt like I felt like really sad. Like, oh man, the robot guy didn't make it. Like I was like that. That scene right there will make sense in a second. Okay, it'll. A winner is you. Yeah, read that. Ah, <laughs> oh, dedicated to all the children who suffered through the lockdown of 2020 and 2021. Ah, oh. yes. Isn't that so? Like, isn't that brilliant? Because you see everything is all these screens and they're being controlled by all these ro like yeah, all yeah, these yeah. robots and they're kind of given games and they're they're given like distractions and I was like oh. Yeah. That was kind of like the kids during COVID who wanted to go out and like play all the time. And then I, mm -hmm. I kind of remembered my like my kiddo herself. Like at first she did like working home remote, but then she really missed her friends. And then yeah. her and some of her friends were talking. You know, like when they deemed it was like kind of like safe mm -hmm. but still dangerous to go back. And they're like, like yeah, we want to we want to go ahead and go back. And but yeah, wasn't that just like wasn't that just brilliant? That was that was awesome. I mean, so <clears throat> here come back here come back yeah. Let's yeah come back thanks, full screen. Thanks, Phantom. <laughs> I think it'll bring you back to the title screen after this. I think. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, there we go. And now you can select chapters and all that kind of stuff to go yeah. go back and get your achievements. Exactly. Very cool. Exactly. All right. So yeah, let's let's uh let's get back. Make sure you this. quit out. I think it automatically saves, but you know. <laughs> I think it. Yeah, I think it does. Um, uh, Jason. Uh, Shires, I think, was in my chat uh, the first night, and he was saying that that was a that's what was happening. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit the button. That's freaking awesome. All right, guys. Wow, what a game! What a game that was. I was really, really impressed at at full void and now understand why it's not only just full void but full void special edition right why did they do a special edition for the first time ever for a single game card right why did they do that and i think it really is because you know the developers really just they really just knocked this one out of the park it's a really awesome experience it's got a really kind of cool story nice hook really awesome gameplay and it is fitting of the indie style of Evercade. So it's a it's a really awesome experience. I highly, highly encourage anyone that um, was maybe even thinking of grabbing Full Void. Um, if you're just still thinking about it, go ahead and grab it. I mean, even if you watch the entire gameplay footage for, for me, I think it's still worth it to sit down and play it for yourself and experience it for yourself. There is replay value there. There's achievements. Achievements. In an Evercade game, yes, yeah. Let's let's have some more of that, please. Let's have some more of that. Let's let's. I mean, if there's a way to go back and start patching some more carts so that we can get some more achievements in some of these other games, there's over almost over 500 games or over 500 games for the Evercade. We get some get some more achievements in there. We're going to be playing more and more and more and more of those just to get those right. Hmm. If there's some way to track it and put it on a profile and all that kind of stuff, I'm getting ahead of myself, but this is a huge wish list that I've had for a really long time. And um, 
you know, nothing would get me playing more Evercade than something that it would be in, engaging and something that I could, I could collect um, outside of the game. Uh, and it's really cool that this game actually has that built in. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that's really cool about this game. The fact that, again, with with hardly any, well, there's no real, you know, so they get the high, the silent protagonist thing, no real dialogue to speak of, no real like, you know, there's there's no like voiceovers. There's you know, like it's it's like this odd experience, very very evocative of that game company, you know, Flow, Flower, Journey, that kind of stuff. It's very, very evocative of that. Even Airy, even Airy on the Atari VCS, uh, that series, and I think it's also on Steam, but I, I played it on Atari VCS. You know, those kind of games, they come out of nowhere. They're kind of chill. You know, this one, there's a lot of jump scares. I was, you know, that is evocative. The jump scare thing is evocative of my time with Half-Life. And if you can be an independent game and you get to me talking about how much I enjoyed moments in this game, Full Void, and compare that to how much I've I enjoyed similar moments in Half Life, one of my favorite games of all time on the PC. You're going places. This dev is going places. So I cannot wait to see what their next thing is, what they're where they're going to do next. Um, as far as an, another game, I would hope that whatever their new project is. It has another home on Evercade and it's maybe another single game cart. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm certainly, certainly interested in more from this developer. What do you guys think, though? What do you guys think? You saw the whole thing. You saw the playthrough. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are here at the end in this wrap-up. Uh, love getting a conversation going with you guys. It's awesome talking with you guys about all this kind of stuff. And, um, and man, man, what another one to notch on the list for completion quest now completion quest is a series mind you yes it's a series we did golden axe warrior it's hiding up there we did full void right we tried to do canon <laughs> it kind of didn't work out we'll, we'll probably get back to that later all right i'm not I'm not abandoning canon on the old glorious pico one sitting over here if i can get it off the off the, the shelf on the glorious pico one yeah, there's a game called Canon, you know, and uh, it'd be it'd be cool to finish that one. But I'm going to just put it back there for now. But another game has entered the fray and will be our next completion quest starting very, very, very soon because this is March and this is the month of due, right? There it is right there. Fantasy Star SMS coming your way on completion quest. That'll be our next one that we do. It'll be a lot longer than two sessions, I can tell you that. But it will also be featuring maps from our buddy starfighter 76 which is awesome um been uh been itching to play another game that has uh their maps um which is really really cool <clears throat> and um you know i'm actually gonna i'm probably gonna print them out today to be honest i gotta print out all those maps and see what's going on for that cannot wait cannot wait it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time so i hope you guys are there for it so we've reached and at a the end of a video here on bacon ice cream production so we have to do one thing and one thing only and you know what it is thank the members of the good times club so let's do that right now we have to thank the ever canadian crimson cross george games chris westerman fan fiction skeletrex lit Jim, papa p the and television gamer ken liqueur mr sure john willig and gunsy 20 thank you guys all so much for being members of the good times club thank you guys all so much for the support um for doing all of the things all of the things to push us, to push us to new and gl glorious heights for 1080p StreamYard right here on on StreamYard, and of course for all your your uh, cool ideas and stuff like that, and even donations to the channel like this, right? Fantasy Star is courtesy of one of our GTC members, Fan of Fiction, and uh, and it is because of Fan of Fiction's donations that we're going to do that next on Completion Quest. So they have direct direct access and direct push as to what we do here on the channel. And I can't think of them enough for their support. And for those of you that aren't GTC members, I thank you guys for just hanging out with us and hitting likes and hitting subscribe buttons and, you know, uh, getting in there, getting those comments and talking. Love to love to hear you guys. Love to hang out with you guys. And um, again, thank you guys so much for even just checking us out here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. All right. Well, until next time, we will catch you guys 
for some good times and some completion times. I'm Rich, and we will see you next time on Completion Quest. See you guys. Take it, ice cream, dot com.